He had the nerve to come to the pub crawl. Can I call you back? Can't wait till it's you and our oldest. Hey folks, welcome on back to you, me, and the TV, and it's time to start a new season of The Sopranos, season four, and what's going on in the world of the mafia in New Jersey. Jeez, you're asking me to remember what happened in season three? Yeah. Adriana got a bar, got a nightclub. Oh, yeah, that happened. That's the one detail you remember? I think so. Okay. Um. AJ got kicked out of school. Yep. And they were like gonna send him to military school and then he had a panic attack and yeah, freaked family. out. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, Meadow had two mm. boyfriends at college. One yeah. dumped her and then the other got killed. They killed him? Jackie. Oh yeah, that's right. They killed him. Yep. <sighs> Which was good, he was bad news. Yeah. He was he was doing dumb stuff. Mm -hmm. Trying to get into the mob. Yeah, well not good that they killed him. Obviously killing yeah. people's bad, but yeah. Good that they're not together anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Christopher and Syl got arrested there at the very end, but then, you know, let out mm. pretty soon <clears> on, <throat> during the funeral. Oh, yeah, for their gambling. Yeah, for the Super Bowl NFL, weekend. Super Bowl gambling. Yeah. And uh, Tony had a crazy fling with the car dealer. Yeah, crazy lady. Yeah. yeah. I have a feeling we're going to see her in the future. Okay. Me too. In a bad way. In a bad way? You think she's going to come back around? Yeah. All right. Well, should we jump back in and see what happens to Tony yeah, this I, season? I can't wait to see what happens in let's, season four. Let's do it. Let's jump in. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come watch Sopranos with us. We're going to watch the whole series, and we're just on season four. So you've got time to through. catch up. Yeah. Just catch up, and then join us for the rest. That's right. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos. Full-length commentary or access to polls. Help us pick watch next. Links down below. Check it out. We also have Twitter and Instagram, so you can follow us at you, me, the movies if you want to check us out on social media. Yeah, check us out on both. Let's watch some more Sopranos. Here we go. Dead. The case concerned a clerk of a civil court in Potenza who was jailed for promising to speed up someone's trial. Evidence showed that he received 88 pounds of fish in return for his assistance. Is this her way of teaching him? Because it's Homeschool. Boring. Does she have a kid? A baby. Was he hoping it was the ducks? We're for Potenzo? I thought we were Nobbly Dobbly or whatever. Nobbly Dan. Nobbly Dobbly. <laughs> I find the pile in his room. You better make a go of it at that new school. You got no idea what we had to do to get you in there. All right, so they, they found a new school for him. Yeah. You just reveal your own ignorance. It's only been five days. We didn't get grades yet. I what? How you doing, Tom? Hey, Jay, finish getting dressed. Can't wait to see what happens with the Russians. What, the Caprice? I just turn it off. I think my uncle's doctor. Tony's being extra cautious lately or something? Looks like it. I'm just saying, I mean, I'm glad to do it. Oh, I'm glad you're glad. <laughs> Your attitude says otherwise. Lunch. Might be on the cover of feds, but I doubt it. There's your undercover fed. You must be colicky. I think you like your hair better that way. <laughs> You'll be good now. Don't start. You ought to see my finish. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get sued for talk like that now. No kidding. Give me that cheek. Right here. I surrender. Do with me what you will. Okay. <laughs> The doctor will be with you both. She knew what she was doing wearing that outfit today. <laughs> <laughs> I said to Mel, can't we just at one 
second meeting. All you eat from the same sheet of paper, pass it around. Our split stays the same. I got medical bills too, Anthony. I got cash flow problems of my own. A one-time hit, 50, 75 grand to cover the audibility expert. I got two kids in private schools. God damn it! Get your shy running right. <laughs> Exam is over. Would you like to try some kielbasa, Kenshaw Farms? Nitrate free. Oh, Rose working at the grocery store now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is beautiful. Where'd you get it? You said you were gonna go. Go. I gotta get some sleep. I should go. You are so f***ing rude. I had a horrible goddamn day. Oh, jeez. It's more addictive than shooting. I don't do it every f***ing day now. Is it? Jeez. It's gonna be more harder drugs. Yeah. Which means he's just gonna be spiraling now. Spend the whole season spiraling again. It's a lot of sweets for for that gentleman there. I'm worried, Tony. About my weight? About money. <laughs> I saw Angie Bumpincero today. She was handing out free Polish sausage at the supermarket. It was Angie. She didn't want to work at a grocery store. <laughs> Something happens to him. And I provide for my children. Yes, Tony, you do. But I don't know how you do it because you won't tell me. Well, let me tell you something. Or you can watch the news. Everything comes to an end. I feel like that outfit's a little loud for Carmella. Yeah. She got a new haircut, too. But it gets watery. It dilutes the drinks, especially scotch. Jesus Christ. Hey, throw it all away. Now. Waste it all. John D. Rockefeller, waste it all. Poor guy. Wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> oh, they don't, they're not even doing business in Bada Bing anymore. They're going somewhere else. And I don't want to hear about the f***ing economy either. I don't want to hear it. So, break it down for them. What two businesses have traditionally been recession-proof since time immemorial? Certain aspects of show business and our thing. And our thing. <laughs> Is that what your coach laid out for you as a training breakfast? He's trying to put on weight for the defensive line, maybe. Honeycomb. Back to hiding money at the house. I think that's where he's been hiding it at the house. Now he's moving it someplace else. So we had the air airline tickets when he gave his mom that one. In the pool shed, huh? Well, Ralphie and Roa coming out here today? I thought we got that straightened out months ago. Surprised Ralph's still dating her. Guess he's got to have some sort of illusion. Hmm. You're not Jewish, are you, Matt? Half. Anyway, he knows it's all in fun. <laughs> he wasn't grinning then, boy. <laughs> I look back. He's white as false teeth. <laughs> Janice is trying to get with that, huh? I was stationed in Nova Scotia, where I'd caught diverticulitis, is the weight loss she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. He, he always had it rough. <laughs> My friend Danielle Chicolella. This is Christopher's cousin Tony. Tony. How you doing? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I knew it. <laughs> I need to do that. Oh, great. Janice on drugs, just what she needs. She's probably always been on drugs. <laughs> they got her on medication. I don't think it's helping. Oh, Bartleby. Oh, humanity. What happened to her uh, narcoleptic boyfriend, though? He is risen. <laughs> he is risen indeed. Oh, jeez. That escalated quickly. Anyway, there was nothing for them to do in Nova Scotia. Great seafood, but other than that. 
Tony's starting to see, see what's coming. See what's coming up. It's a lot of cracked corn. All the ducks, they've flown south for the winter. He's trying to get his ducks back. You know, I'm going to be busy the next couple of months. But after that, what would you say, me and you, una bella giornata to that city called Atlanta? I have many dear friends there. I could show you quite a time. Thank you, but I don't gamble. With me, it's never a gamble. <laughs> I'm going to move Bobby up. I think it's a good choice. I wasn't asking, I'm telling. So you know who to talk to. Bobby, no yet. Well, I think we should bring him in here. He's going to be a very happy man. Tony likes that decision. Yeah. He likes Bobby. He knew what the f*** he was doing when he went into the woods that day. Yeah. Earned his respect. Oh, jeez. He is hoarding money. Don't try the beauty parlor. I'm going to get the last of the tomatoes. Oh. Yeah, they were good last time. It's a little late in the season for ducks, no? Well, not necessarily. You know, the ones from Upper Canada, this is the south of them. <laughs> yep, nailed it. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> well, Polly's in jail. I was wondering where the hell he was at. We didn't see that happen. Right? I don't think so. Or did he get busted with everybody else and just didn't get let out? Was he at the funeral? Yeah, too much. Nothing. The lawyers said they'll keep us here as long as they can till they make their case or unless somebody cops to it. Leave that. Don't touch that. My program's coming on. So we didn't see it happen. <laughs> no, remember, because they talked during the finale at, outside the the wake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Polly was complaining to him about Tony. Anything else with the Esplanade I should know? <laughs> oh, it's a girl. I think he's the guy who was wearing the wire last season. John said he went to a cookout at your house. Yeah. Don doesn't wear shorts. Giving him sh wearing shorts just observing this evening what welcome on back to you me and the boobies glad to be back what's up t it's like super paranoid right now take the parkway you know with all the things there are to eat on this island. They being, are they being tailed? <clears throat> he just had a call from some source of his. Dr. Schwick's office isn't safe to talk at. The FBI had an undercover in there since January. The agent's been pulled to testify at your trial. The nurse? Oh, no. It was her last day mm -hmm. last week? Are they going to Hooters? Guy in there killed your father. What the fuck are you talking about? Detective, lieutenant, and the Clifton Police Force. Retired today. That's his retirement party. Is Tony telling him the truth, or is he just trying to get him to get mad and kill somebody? Oh, it's the truth. Questions? Is he telling Chris to kill that guy at his police officer's retirement party? <clears throat> Not at the party. He gave him the address to his house. Following him home? Yeah. Unlock me. Give me the weapons. I promise you I will do whatever is in my power to help you. Maybe. <laughs> you remember Dickie Moltisanti? No. No? Is that what you said? Is he a friend of yours? He was my father. You know, Quasimodo predicted all this. <laughs> it wasn't Quasimodo. Yes. Quasimodo is the hunchback of Notre Dame. All oh, right. He <laughs> Nostradamus. Nostradamus and Notre Dame. It's two different things completely. <laughs> it's interesting, though, to be so similar, isn't it? Hunchback in Notre Dame. You also got your quarterback and your halfback in Notre Dame. Hmm. 
It's interesting, the coincidence. What? You're going to tell me you never pondered that? The back thing with Notre Dame? No. <laughs> what a weird conversation. <laughs> I've always wondered about that. Halfbacks and hunchbacks. I bet. Notre Dame. I didn't kill your father, but you could... You don't want a cop kill on your head! You're not a cop anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are you going to do? So that guy really killed his dad, or does Tony just want him to kill somebody? Like he said, it doesn't matter either way. Yeah. Tony wanted him dead, so he was going to have to do it either way. Yeah. Now Reese will have to lead the guys to victory. Who's Reese? Kenneth Reese. He was my backup quarterback. You take the handcuffs off of him? I don't think he did. Old New Jersey was said by police to have ties to organized crime families, both in that city and in New York. One of Tony's underlings? Don't know. We had a little scare. Thought it was a shot in his heart. He passed some gas. He seems better. <laughs> Doesn't have cable. I thought Jim would be the guy that had an HBO. Right. Yeah. She probably reported the meetings. Who was there? All that shit. Hope she didn't put a wire in there too. Or is that still illegal? Don't know. All right, come on. Have something to eat. Steak still on top of the fridge. <laughs> still endings for a guy like me. High profile guy. Dead or in a can? What? Why don't you give it up? Oh. <laughs> you know, let me finish. <laughs> Not many men could survive without the love and support of their wife and children. No, 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 no. Not that family. What I've been dealt is my nephew. He's got his act together, the kid. <laughs> Over the last couple of months, I started the process of bonding him to me inseparably. <laughs> That's not working, Tony. He's questioning everything he's been putting him up to. Anthony, why are you telling me this? I don't know. Guess, uh, I trust you. Is he going to tell Chris what he's doing so Chris is not paranoid and freaking out about every little thing he's been doing, Ali? He's going to be paranoid regardless. He's on drugs. There's a weight problem already. Eight years old. She never had him baptized. She thought she knew everything. <laughs> it happened because he wasn't baptized. I don't have any peanut butter. I haven't kept it since you left. I can't make you a fluffernutter. Fluffernutter sounds so good, though. You like them? What was that? Fluffernutters? Marshmallows and peanut butter? Mm -hmm. Marshmallow cream and peanut yeah. butter. I honestly prefer just regular marshmallows in peanut butter, but then it's got more texture, you know? she going to tell his mom or just... Oh, in a subtle way. Well, so do you think that was actually the guy that killed Chris's dad? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. I think so, too. Once Tony opened up with uh, oh, he was Dr. Trying to Malfi attach him. Down, so he was definitely... I don't think he would have had... I don't think he was lying about yeah. it. So... He was, I was on the fence until that. He's got no reason to lie to him about it. Yeah. And like Christopher said, it didn't matter if it was right. him or not. He was going to gonna... make the hit anyway. It's his right. job to do what Tony says, right? Right. So why would Tony have to lie to do that? Exactly. So, yeah. So what do you think that actually does for Christopher, though? Because he's kind of feels like he's on a spiral here, but that seemed that's like a, it helped. a redeeming. I think so. I feel like that he's is like a... the, like letters on the, the fridge there, too, sobriety and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So maybe that this... feels like he might be. That might have been like a weight that was lifted, and now he's kind of getting back on track like he was before he got made. Uh -huh. I think if Tony opens up more to him and just is honest with him on what he wants to do, mm -hmm. he'll be more straight and narrow. And I think so too. Committed, like he always focuses during. Yep. It's, it's when he starts getting thinking Tony's against him. Yeah, he exactly when he's out out of the loop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Tony needs to realize that. Yep. What's on your mind? That was it. Everything I just said. Yep. Well, that makes it easy. Yeah, want to jump into the next episode? Yeah, let's watch some more Sopranos. Let's do it. Hey, you. Hey. 
My cousin came through on those days. Spa certificates. Excellent. How's outside Daffy's at 11? Is Mary Higgins Clark a part of that group? Because that's what I saw you reading every time I passed by the... <laughs> Hello? He had the nerve to come to the pub crawl. Can I call you back? Can't wait till it's you and our oldest. And just fear you. Yeah. <laughs> Later. Mm, say goodbye to Med for me. Why don't you say goodbye yourself? He's like, yeah, I don't want to bark up that tree right now. You heard the arguments all morning <laughs> or afternoon. You will give Paulie five carpenter jobs, two no shows, and three no works. One of the no shows our friend in Youngstown keeps, and one he gives to Chrissy here. The others, the no work jobs, as for Paulie. How he wants to distribute them. With Paulie in the can, there's a new acting capo of his crew. It's Chrissy. Hey, hey Chrissy, sit down. That's the way certain people want it, and we trust there will be no ill will. First thing I'm doing is getting wings in my hair. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I hope he's just joking. Carpenter jobs, is that like $1,000? Like, once $5,000? I'm not sure. I think there was actual, like, I don't know. I'm not sure what a no-show in a... I uh, don't either. You're in a cash business. Stocks is a cash business? Don't do it. Fucking Adriana. I don't think I can have kids. What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, she might explain why, though. Did you show up without calling? Thought you were going out. You got a promotion. Let's just say that Carmella ain't gonna be first lady forever. How much of a promotion is that, though? Just being acting boss. Yeah, I mean, acting, you get that one acting, kick up, right? Acting, ca acting captain, not boss. Well, yeah, that's what I meant. <clears throat> <laughs> what do you care, Tony? It's none of your business anyhow. Ralph Schifferetto, Jonas? It's always fucking something with you. Why don't you stay out of other people's living rooms? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Ralph just got on his sh** list again. Mm -hmm. Jenny Sack had a 95-pound mole surgically taken off her ass. He said that? Yeah. And you think it's funny? That is in bad taste, huh? <laughs> Construction jobs. Mm -hmm. That's got to be code for something else. Though, yeah, too. right? But they are talking about the $300 million project that's going on. Yeah, the... I mean, maybe it's not code. Maybe they're doing like the... Remember with the pipe fitters were having the... Yeah. The union workers not show up and actually do jobs. Maybe that's what it is. All that fiber optic cable, high speed internet access. They were getting fiber back then, and we haven't even gotten fiber yet. <laughs> it's horse. Shit. Still waiting on our goddamn fiber, and they had it in the nineties. Yeah, well, we're in like the two thousands. Whatever. We're gonna dial up here until like. Six years ago. Soon. Has she said to you or Carmela she's depressed? Well, come on with that shit. She's gonna be all right. Maybe she should be on medication. Maybe she just needs to talk about it. Like, maybe let's try therapy before we put her on medication. Sleeping in until like two o'clock in the afternoon, though. It does kind of sound like uh -oh. depression. Look, I decided to take a year off. You what? And do what? Loaf around the house? Actually, I'm going to Europe with Misty. <laughs> and obviously, you don't want me around here. That is not what I said at all. You think I don't want you here? 
Tony's gonna be pissed when he finds out about Europe. Fiber optic. So you knew it was gonna be boosted? No. Well, yeah, I mean, Patsy mentioned oh, something. Jesus Christ, if I wanted Patsy in charge. I'm sorry, T, I thought I was. By drawing heat to a quarter billion dollar job? So he busted. He yeah, stole all the fiber, the fiber optic, optic line. Well, maybe they can put it in our place. Nothing but that motherfucker. Shoots like a girl. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Come on. I'm trying to give him a heart attack. What the f in Europe? Experience, real life. Boys. No fing way she's going to Europe. Fine. Yeah, who's paying for it? They are, obviously. You know what? I'm gonna get high. Yeah, shocker. <clears throat> she don't have a boyfriend, she don't like Paulie. Oh, like he's Jude Law. Yeah, whatever. He that fing blind? He's a dick. Mm. <laughs> dick. Only one way to find out. She's gonna make a pass at her. What, Mom, you've never heard of the restorative nature of travel? Read Henry James. What does every college have junior year abroad if there isn't a need for it? You wanna go to Europe? Go. Clear your head. Run with the ball. <laughs> She's like, what now? Educational consultant. Maybe she can explain to Meadow how dropping out now is not going to look at all good to medical schools. We could use an ally here, Tony. Some adult besides us to toe the line. So maybe you go on an antidepressant to tide you over. You're not paying for it. <laughs> really? <laughs> you said waste management, wink, wink. What does wink, wink mean? <laughs> No such thing as a mafia. I said Jackie's dad was a loan shark. It's organized crime. <laughs> Get right. I was pretty upset. I used to tell Jackie all the time, don't get involved, stay in school. Get involved? With what? Organized crime. You don't like talking much about dad, do you? Not supposed to. Did Dad ever molest you? No. I don't tell them what we discuss, Meadow. Yeah, I don't think so. What about Mom? God, no. Why would you ever jump to that conclusion based on this conversation? Perhaps they should examine their own needs to have you stay in school. Blow off their self-esteem issues. So you book on Columbia, you can come back when you're ready. I, don't, I feel like if you drop out of college, they don't just let you come back when you feel like it, do they? She probably They're probably still paying for her tuition there. She's registered for classes yet. If she hasn't registered for classes, they don't have to pay anything. Mm -hmm. I do not like that psychologist, though. No. Psychiatrist, whatever she is. She's a kook. Yeah, I'm just saying, with the change of rank and all, maybe feels... marginalized. It's just a temporary position until Polly's out. What are you doing? What? I'm gonna go. <laughs> Videos. She came on to me. She took my hand. She was rubbing it on herself. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> What have I been telling you about this bouquet? Huh? She's trying to f us up, Adriana. What we have is stronger than any of that. Sh it's like their intuition is trying to tell them something. Yeah, just <clears throat> wrong. They're, it's just wrong, though. <laughs> Go ahead. What? Knock off the tile? Tony says no. I got your back. Tony be fine with it. Uh oh. Or is still setting him up to get rid of him. You know, it could be. Tony was just talking about how he was trying to get rid of Patsy last year or something. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Why don't you mind your goddamn business? 
I don't know. It kind of feels like it is my business, considering I had to haul your last boyfriend out of your kitchen in a hefty bag. <laughs> For your information, Ralph is a great guy. Do I know this guy better than you? Because I'm telling you, he's no f***ing good. My happiness really drives you crazy, doesn't it, Tony? <laughs> She's always so wrong about She knows that. how to pick him. <laughs> Maybe if we let her cool off. She thinks I tried to seduce her fiancé, Dwight. Adriana will cool off, call her up. Let's just bring her in straight up. Oh, they're going to arrest Adriana? You know, I had a dream about her the other night. <laughs> Gross. You've been in my restaurant. Problem with the Sacciatelli, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cook never forgets. I distinctly told you to lay off this job talk to silvio he gave the order you stupid yeah. on, you work on. for me not silvio i told you to knock it off and don't think i forgot about you going through my fiance's underwear drawer. that wasn't me you jerk we'll see huh that's polly <laughs> who the f are you ralph bunch over here oh jesus call the cops when the bosses are fighting those are just innocent bystanders, basically. Construction workers, but I yeah. don't know what the hell they're doing there. Wow. The therapist told her it is her right to go to Europe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Her right? I'm over 18 now. I'm a grown woman. I can go where I want and do what I want. All right, Jesus, God, we know that. Is that your own? Yes, and you can also pay for your entire life. That's not what I asked you. Like, you could talk honestly for three Second. You try me. I made my plans. I'm going to Europe and I'm getting the f out of here. You've been told no. Watch me. She just gave her a hug. I think that would have worked. Maybe. Adriana LaServa, Special Agent Dwight Harris, FBI. I believe you two have already met. Yikes. <clears throat> It'll only take a half hour, and I assure you it's in your best interest. You come with us, please? She's too dumb not to cooperate. Mm-hmm. Make bail, you can explain to Tony Soprano why you brought an undercover federal agent into his home during Sunday dinner. Oh, my God. We'll probably oh never God. hear about it, though. Oh, my Chances God. Chances are you and Christopher will just disappear. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. She was looking at that bracelet. What were her thoughts going through her head? Were I don't know. Jealous? Disgusted? Fine. The whole thing. Misunderstanding. <laughs> Should be uh, about two grand there. I'll have the rest for you later. I know you will. Was that still just knowing he'd be okay with it? And just no, I think that was him just seeing how much he could get yeah. away with. Yeah. What about this one? Oh nine five three one. It's your lucky day. So she's going back to school. We can talk to your cousin Brian about the estate plan. Listen to him now. What do you feel guilty? You have nothing to feel guilty about. To me, she blames. Oh, fool. For everything. That's what <laughs> girls do with their moms. Yeah. Did you do that? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Should we get your mom down here to talk about it? No, I think we're beyond that now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Well, Meadow's going back to school. Were you expecting that? No, not at all. They always give her enough rope to for her to hang herself with, and she always just cuts it. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Like when she had to clean up that party and just refused for what weeks and I know what a pain in it. the ass, right? Like, god damn it, just she's smart to know what she needs to do, and then she just rebels until she it's she like did, she wants to be she wants them to know that she is in control and then she like, makes the right decisions. I feel like she wants to be disciplined and she almost gets them to that point where they do discipline her or do something that 
I feel like a normal parent would do. Like she feels like a normal parent would do. Mm. And then they just don't do anything. Mm. And then she's like, I have to do it myself. There's <laughs> some sort of interesting, weird dynamic yeah. there. For like sure. that whole moment there in the bedroom when Tony was telling her about Jackie. And she was like, can you be honest with me one, one minute? It felt like she wanted to hug. And then nothing help happened. Right. right. And then she, I guess, ran off and went back to register for school. So there you go. All right. Well, uh, Adriana is arrested. And looks like she's going to be a... Informant? Informant. I don't see that ending well for her. At, like, where, at what point is there not the easy. conversation with your loved one yeah. or significant other that's like, hey, if you ever get caught yeah. doing anything illegal, you just admit to go and you just go to jail. Yeah. And we'll get you out. That's what you're supposed to do, like Polly did. Right. right? You... <laughs> Just go to jail and, and we'll get you out. And also, like, I mean, she was scared of the, the terms they get, like, 25, yeah. right? It's like... She, first time offender. First time offender, right? Yeah. They probably could afford a good lawyer to mm -hmm. be like, she's just using, not trying to sell anything. Right. And then, yeah, right? She's a business owner. <clears throat> she's a manager of a nightclub. She doesn't At get some point, stuff. you would think somebody would have had that conversation. Yeah. Like, don't worry about it. Don't freak out and agree to. It doesn't help that her fiance Chris is just as hard headed as her. Just so. an idiot, yeah. So he has moments of clarity, but most of the time he's just high on his own supply. Yeah, That's unfortunately. So, so what are you thinking so far this season? They're definitely hitting character development really hard, right? The yeah. relationship building and the dynamics of relationships. Yeah, we got the Chris and Adriana. And Tony and Chris yeah. and Meadow and and Tony and Carmela. Yeah, I mean, really just... And what, what's Syl up to now? I don't know. He seems fishy. He's kind of testing the waters with Polygon to see how much he can uh, move up the ladder himself. I guess, yeah. Yeah. Anything else on your mind after these two episodes? No, I'm interested to see where the rest of the season goes for yeah. sure. What's your prediction on Adriana? I think she's going to be an informant, and yeah. I think they're going to kill her. Yeah, they'll find her out pretty quickly, you Something. think? Yeah. Does that mean Chris is going to have to kill his own fiance? Maybe. Ugh. Or were they going to think Chris was in on it, too, and have to take them both out? No, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know if Tony can handle that. Ugh. Interesting. All yeah. right, well, thanks for hanging out. Well, what should people comment on? What college class would you want to take? Sure. Right. Looks like she's going into morality and ethics or something like that. Some yeah. Ethics class. What's your subject of choice in college classes, huh? Let us know. Also, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for Sopranos season yep. four. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, fun commentary, or access to polls up to people we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Till next time. Have a good one. Bye. My wife's Anna. Ralph slept with Jenny? <laughs> I'm with him, though. If anybody disrespected you. <laughs> Disrespect me every day on YouTube. <laughs>
hang out with us for Sopranos. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full income to your access to polls, and pick what we're next. next. Links down below, check it out. Nailed that. <laughs> Twitter and Instagram. At you, me, the movies. Follow us if you feel like it. Yeah, nailed it. Let's watch some more Sopranos. Here we go. It does take, like, everything in my being to not just want to binge watch this at night. Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't do it. All I can think is, man, I'd be able to get through this so much faster if I just watched it back to back to back to back to back like I want to, you know? Play the license plate game? Looks like it. Council Chairman Del Red Clay, Professor of Cultural Anthropology. Stop blowing at your nose, I want to hear this. Council members and supporters <laughs> will lie down in the path of Columbus Day March's quark. Some fing balls badmouth in America, especially now. You gotta admit, they did get massacred, the Indians. It's not like we didn't give them a bunch of to make up for that. Who am I sitting on my ass all day smoking mushrooms and collecting government checks? Not the mushrooms <laughs> I've seen. <laughs> That's right, she's there just sitting around collecting money from people. <laughs> I'm going to take action here. What does that mean? Well, yeah, is he not going to let a protest? You should come, Adriana. Okay. Yeah, come with us. Noon in the bingo room at St. Peter and Paul's. They have a series of... She's not wearing a wire. Are you sure? I think it looks great on him. That's his trademark. Sandy Fortunata says it looks like a dick coming out of his head. <laughs> 300. That's all, bitch? I'm gonna put you back on the street, ho. Make you work that ass. Put me back on the street, baby, yes. <laughs> it's the, the noises. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> noises. <laughs> We're so wacky. No regard for nothing, huh? I don't like that storyline much. <laughs> I just, it was too personal. I witnessed too personal of a moment. You didn't hear the joke about Ginny? Never mind. Let it die at that. What joke? You're better off not hearing it. Trust me. That. I demand you tell me, Paulie. Oh. <laughs> Paulie's stirring some shit. Yes, he is. Have Mazarone hire more laborers off the books. Nobody's talking to you. All right, Jesus. If the Soprano family's going to benefit from it, then Carmine feels we should have too. Okay, we'll work something out. Hello. He has given Ralph the stink eye now since he heard that joke. Mm -hmm. But every culture has had to bear the pain in the making of what I think we can all agree is a startling economic miracle. Enough. The debate's still going on today. It will go on for as long as people exist. <laughs> Cost me 40 bucks every time you pick up the phone. I can't. I'm going to give you some preliminary instructions and explain the process by which we will try this case. Does he know one of them? I think he just wants him to be like... Pay attention to them so they like you. Because of the way the media depict us. Again, it is our job to make sure <laughs> the educated, wage-earning, law-abiding side. Because isn't that who we truly are? <laughs> They're all like, F you guys. <laughs> Didn't I read about a more recent study at Fairleigh Dickinson that found the opposite was true? Majority of Americans recognize these are fictional portrayals. We're still looking at the sample selection criteria used in that study. Shouldn't mention the Mario Brothers. Yep. There's no strong Italian female leads in Super Mario Brothers, though. Princess Peach? She's not Italian? I don't think I guess so. she's from the Mushroom Kingdom, so... I suggest you think about who really keeps this parish alive year after year. 
Everybody's always so easily offended. Uh oh. Yeah, Bolt. Jeez. <laughs> oh, whatever. You did what you could. I couldn't leave here without saying something. Well, you could have, but you chose not to. Aaron, bring Bobby and the kids over for a cookout on Saturday. Well, it was interesting that Roe opened the door for her. Yeah. She wants you to pick up some steaks and egg plants before you come home. She can't do it? I'm stuck in traffic now. I gotta go to the store. Your mother's a real pain to you know what sometimes. When she gets home, tell her I said thanks a lot. She's gonna make you those steaks and eggplants. Pick up the food. Karen had an accident on Pompton Avenue. Was that the car we saw flipped? Yeah. Karen? Which one was Karen? The blonde? Why would they do that? What's Bobby gonna do? You adored that woman. Oh, is Bobby's wife? Oh. I understand you want to do something, but use your brain. Believe me, me and Matthew are working on a few things. Oh, it's not using your brain. Nobody wants to touch it. Why, we just want a peaceful parade like we've had for years with no interference. This is a very Italian prideful episode. Yeah. I want it, Sandy. I... I I, I I do. God give me the strength. So she's seeing a shrink too? Sure looks like it. You remember this guy? Arnaz Cody, he was an actor in the movies. Son of pale face. Second generation Sicilian from Louisiana named Espiro de Cote. Guy's a total f phony. Jesus Christ, is this true? This is a fing disaster. Chill out. You didn't know about this? I thought everybody knew about that. <laughs> I didn't know about it. You didn't know about that? I remember that commercial where he don't he, remember that guy he, at he all. Cries. No. no. Before my time, perhaps. With fifty men, we could subjugate them. Subjugate. <laughs> Say it right. He was a brave Italian explorer, and in this house, Christopher Columbus is a hero. End of story. <laughs> Bobby's had it pretty rough the last couple of years. He just loses dad, too. Yeah. Keep him away from me. John, what's going on? I don't want to talk about it. What's this? I have no f***ing idea. You saw how I was with them at dinner the other night? Something's going on. No s***. Somebody's talking too much. It's costing me money. Since the guy in jail. I'm having a lot of trouble dealing with this. I don't know. You don't know what? I don't think I can do this. Let's be realistic. Let's be realistic? What, you want to leave me? Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Then get the f*** out. It's only a matter of time before that happened. Yeah. Told her I didn't want to be with her anymore, and I left. <laughs> oh, she's not going to be interested anymore. Mm -mm. Give me no more fear, no more guilt. <sighs> Just... Frankly, I passed most of my life as white until I had a racial awakening and discovered my Mohonk blood. My grandmother on my father's side, her mother was a quarter Mohonk. And all this happened when the casino bill got passed, right? Better late than never. <laughs> she was up the road ahead of me, lying in twisted metal. But I didn't know, and I could have been with her. I should have been there to help her. But I was mad at her. <laughs> oh, my sweet Karen. You know what do you say to that? You don't. 
You ask him about Ionized Cody? He didn't give a sh It was some internet rumor. And most Native Americans, they don't give a flying f It's like knowing James Kahn is an Italian. All right, well, uh... <laughs> It don't mean nothing anyway, because it's like knowing uh, James Conn is in a die. He didn't know. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Sonny from The Godfather is an Italian? Yeah, but I don't get it. It's old. Oh, Sil's so not going to let it go. To move away from the darkness and toward the light. What does this man do? He works with my brother, but he's not like the others. Janice. Now, Sandy, he's different, believe me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is. Mm -hmm. Speak the truth, Jan. But with the compassion and respect that you're famous for. <laughs> so is Janice going to leave Ralphie and try to get with Bobby now? <laughs> Whenever I'm in one of these places, I remember that my grandmother was part Fagawa. Bullsh**. No, no, it's true. They were a nomadic tribe, and uh, they wander around, they get lost, and they go, where the Fagawi? He's about to try and move in. Oh, boy. How's this gonna go? Didn't I ask you to take your shoes off when you came in this house? Forgot. Sorry, hon. You forgot. So that's just it. You f forgot! Tactful. Get out! Ah! Uh, uh, my back! I'll kill you, you crazy bitch. Uh. Throw his back out, falling down the stairs. Is Janice going to have to kill another? I don't think so. <laughs> the real Gary Cooper, or anybody named Cooper, never suffered like the Italians. If he was a medagon around nowadays, he'd, he'd be a member of some victim's group. The fundamentalist Christians, the abused cowboys, the gays, whatever the f***. He was gay, Gary Cooper? <laughs> <laughs> He's saying everybody's part of a group, and every group has been Victimized. marginalized at yeah. some point in time. Let me ask you a question. All the good things you got in your life. He's basically saying what I feel. Like, just <laughs> shut the f about it already. Now, did you get all the shit you're Italian? No, you got it because you're you, because you're smart. The to come from, from Columbus, or the godfather, or chef Boyardee. No, oh, because some hard work, I'm assuming. <laughs> and pride in yourself, right? Like, just... <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I feel like this was a throwaway episode. Uh, the episode's still relevant today. 20 years later, they're yep, still arguing all this still <laughs> Just as annoying a content today as it was back then. Yeah. yeah. Well, other than that, uh, Bobby had a big development, and Janice. What do you think is going to happen between Ralph and Janice now? She threw him down the stairs and broke up with him. Hopefully nothing. Yeah. She's going to try and go after Bobby, though. You think she's actually going to try and woo Bobby now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's so messed up. She's Yeah, she's got some serious issues. You think Bobby's going to go for her? He might. Yeah, he's lonely. Well, it's somebody to help take care of him. Yeah. Okay. Well, should we move on to the next episode? Yeah. Let's watch some more Sopranos. She used to do a little dancing herself, eh? Taught ballet years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Ralph Sephiroth's crew. You okay? Pardon me, man. Jeez, this guy might deal with Ralphie. Mm -hmm. John, how you doing? What's the matter? Not funny anymore? Hey, whoa, funny? Whoa, 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 whoa. Funny? John, oh, oh, what the f? Let me buy you a drink. Well, that's going to start some between the families. It's just a joke. Good on. I'd recommend a life insurance trust. That coupled with the growth-oriented reallocation of your assets. Well, open an account, get the paperwork started, and... Uh... Brian, look, uh, I know we're family. Let me think about it. 
He should get a life insurance policy. Yeah. Cute c could wind up dead. What are you saying here? I'm gonna go to the mattresses. Kid last night. Who was laughing? About this. And I'm not. <laughs> no. He was just having a drink. My f temper. Is he married? Children? Anything? Lives with his mother. I'll send her something nice. We'll start a family war over a joke. Very distasteful joke. But... <laughs> Ralphie was going to him a couple of seasons ago before he got set up with Tony as a captain, right? Mm hmm. So, next Sunday is the party. We will be there. They're going to have a little fling, huh? think so. What it feels like. I don't think Furio would do that to Tony. Check out the Law Center. There's some really cool people there. She's going to go to law school? Loose lips sink ships. First Johnny knows about flipping the property by the Esplanade. Not a sh**. How about Patsy? He's had issues. What if Vesuvio's bugged and the feds told Johnny? Conspiracy theories now. Why not? Create a little dysentery among the ranks? What do you think? Silvio talking to Johnny? You never know, team. Not even thinking of Polly. You know what that crazy bitch was into? What? What? She wanted to stick a dildo up my ass, make believe she was pimping me out. I told her to get the f out of here. <laughs> No, they did that. I bet it was his idea. Well, I'm sure. Look, last year when Tony and I had our, our thing, that misunderstanding, you were the one that told me to apologize. Well, so you're apologizing? If that's what it takes. Well, why would you apologize? I thought you didn't say it. I should have let Tony chop your head off a year ago. <laughs> Shouldn't have apologized. I want you to sanction the hit on Ralph Cifaretto. What? Are you kidding me? You violated my wife's honor. Ralph slept with Jenny? <laughs> I'll demand he's taxed. But clip him? I'll ask for 200 grand. 200 grand for insulting my wife? What's next, come on? You get the up for a million? He wants the fk? I'm making a point. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I want to sit down then with Ralph, fing thief. Get this Fernandez paving bullshit dealt with. He wants to sit down. He wants to do it himself then. Right? What do you think? I don't know. I'm with him though. If anybody disrespected you. <laughs> Disrespect me every day on YouTube. <laughs> you don't do shit about it. <laughs> I mute some of them. Take it easy. Wanted his parking spot? I don't know. Was he just leaving uh, Melfi's there? No, it was Columbia. Excuse me. I can't do this. Why, John? No, what's wrong? No, John, please. Don't f***ing John hey, me. Hey, hey, we're trying to settle this. It's not about that. I'm sorry, Carmine. I can't be in the same room with this man. But Jason is like the cliched psychiatrist kid. Slightest bump in the road, he knows exactly what to say to get attention. That's his daughter. Is it safe? We each got a new cell phone. Talk on it once, you toss it. That's what the Taliban used to do. Let's get started. My daughter was coming in with the baby later. So they doing this now with him on a, f oh, it's a f junior. Who's on the wire now? It's John Corrado. Oh. Stop eating olives right now. It's nothing sacred. I mean, this is my wife we're talking about here. If this were years ago, would I even have had to ask? For God's sake, we bend more rules than the Catholic Church. I love you. still can eat olives.
John. What would you say to a piece of Rob's company? <laughs> John. If he wasn't eating olives, he probably could have said that before he left the room. <laughs> We're gonna eat olives. God. Yeah. You just don't like people eating stuff. Are they going to have a war because of this joke that Ralphie made? I don't want that apple cut upset. Yeah, then somebody should do something about it. I appreciate your thoughts. You saying what I think you're saying? I didn't say nothing. Yep. Saying that the ball's in motion. Now he's got to go. All over a stupid joke. Oh, jeez. So Carmine just gave him the okay to take out John. Uh huh. Because he won't let it go. Go back to Miami and play volleyball. Whatever the f did you do down there? Or we clean up your mess. So you're going to kill John instead of kill Ralphie? Ralphie's the annoying guy. So what happened to this uh, Lenny Prick? Lou DiMaggio. His real name is Galena. They started calling him DiMaggio after the cops found Lenny and his wife with their heads bashed in by a baseball bat. <laughs> We're here to see Lou DiMaggio. Oh, come in. How old is this Lou guy now? Probably pretty old. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's blind too, huh? Oh. Or is that him? When he woke up, I held him down while Frank cut his head off with a hacksaw. <laughs> we could arrange to have that same thing happen again. Not too fancy, as long as he disappears. It's your money. Would you like some cake? Actually, yeah. We got a long ride. <laughs> Chris is like really weirded out by them. <laughs> he's like, no, I don't do drugs. That guy we're looking for, he's at the Del Rey Hotel in Miami. A uh, friend with the paving problem. Send someone over there tomorrow to take care of it then. Are you sure? They're going to... Do as you told. I'll deal with the fallout. Yeah, you will. Are they both gonna get whacked? I think so. I'm not sure about the blind guys they just hired, though. They still got it? So that's the garage in question. Anthony, don't wander off. You will have to go to the bathroom. She wants to turn that garage into a guest house. You know, I'm not sure, but I think if it was built before 1938, you can apply for a zoning variance. Pre-existing, non-conforming structure, I think it's called. Why'd she bring AJ? Hello? Uh-oh. Why is the door unlocked? Are they in his house? No. She seemed kind of depressed. What are you doing on the floor? Nothing. I was getting the laundry together. Sneaking chocolate bars or something? This is how you try? You see the other wives, the way men look at them. Don't I look at you like that? It was your idea, what was dieting nonsense. Why should you be proud of me? <laughs> is he gonna call off the hit on Ralphie now because he realized his wife wasn't trying? Mm, he still <laughs> insulted her. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna call it off. Listen, it's me. I just talked to my guy again. We're calling it off. We'll work something out then. Don't worry about it. Jeez. What's your f***ing problem? You're still gonna take out Johnny even though now he's he's probably gonna let it go. They don't know that though. This is pretty cool. It's actually from Italy. I'm so bored I feel like crying. <laughs> I'm not kidding. There's tons of toys in there he said you could have. They're back behind those boxes. What is AJ doing? Just gonna lock him in. The flashlight. Because he's bored. Can you dance like that? They're just walking. 
It's about the only way that I can dance. Just <laughs> a little two-stepping. Turns out this guy was probably another parent or more likely a repairman. But if he had dragged me out of my car and beat me up, would I be saying, gee, I, I shouldn't have tried to park my car? No, you should have been saying, gee, I shouldn't have, like, rode that guy's ankles as he was walking in front of me. <laughs> well, you know, it was Tony. You could tell Ralph I've decided to accept his apology. <laughs> no more weight remarks, Tony. They're hurtful and they're destructive. Oh, I agree. <sighs> Is he calling off now? <laughs> Look like a model. Listen to him now. Don't rip the new dress. But I'll cut it off! <sighs> Who's playing that music? Is it AJ? Meadow. Oh, Meadow's home? She got a big crush on... Uh, Furio? Mm -hmm. I think so. All right. Well, interesting. Mm -hmm. Do you think Tony's calling off the hit on Johnny? I would hope so. <laughs> that was a very dramatic episode between uh, the two beefs going on there. Yeah. Wait, what's on your mind? I don't feel like a ton happened in the, those last these last two episodes. Nah, it was just kind of revolving around uh, Ralphie and his beef with Johnny there. Yeah. And then Carmela and uh, her uh, crush on uh, Furio. I, th I feel like she brought AJ with her when she came went over to this house just so she was like, nothing will happen if I bring AJ. Oh, could be. Like she might try to kiss him or something. Yeah, maybe. Do you think Furio has any feelings back for her, though? Or is he just the nice Italian guy? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, I feel like he, he's just being nice Italian. I don't know. Could be. Just affectionate Italian, right? Just yeah, flirtatious the, Italian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, Ralphie was this close to getting. Yeah, dang it. <laughs> so he's gonna have to meet his end some other way, I'm sure, right? I guess because this ain't gonna be the last problem he. Oh no, he's starts, a troublemaker. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, what should people comment on after these two episodes? Is Furio gonna be able to make it an apartment? Yeah. Do you think Furio's going to be able to make an apartment out of his little one-car exterior garage? Yeah. Let us know in the comments below. So his, his parents can come live with him? Come visit, yeah. 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 Anything else? Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Now, check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full-length commentary, or access to polls helps pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Till next time, have a good one. Bye. He drives like a little old lady. Gas brake, gas brake. That's how you drive. That is not true at all. That's how you drive. No, I, don't. I don't use the brake very much. You should. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for some more Sopranos. Season four. And I got a ghoul. Yeah, what's going on at Bada Bing these days? Um, Polly's not there. I don't remember. Polly's in prison. Right. Or jail. County. Probably county lockup. You don't remember what's going on? Uh, let's see. Adriana's informant. Right. Because she got arrested. Mm-hmm. Uh, Christopher's being groomed by uh, Tony to be his heir. Mm-hmm.
Beto's going to school, even though she thought about taking a year off. Perfect. Yeah. There can't be much else going on, because it's only been four episodes, so. Yeah. Ralphie almost got offed, mm-hmm. and so did Johnny from the other But family. neither did. And then yeah. they both changed their mind. Well, we, actually, we still don't know if Tony. Right. We don't know about Johnny. Mm-hmm. If, but I'm assuming he did. We'll see. Should we jump in and find out? Yeah. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Sopranos. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, fully commentary, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Twitter and Instagram. Social meets. That's right. Check it out. Let's watch The Sopranos. <laughs> business stuff. VIP tables better. Their first time at Wild Horse or Crazy Horse. Look, I said I'll talk to him, so I'll talk to him. She's freaking out, man. Uh oh. They doing illegal stuff at her business? Probably. Oh, they're throwing the book at him. No, no, being slapped with the book is a lot different than the book thrown at you. <laughs> oh, she neighbors with Bobby? Yeah. She's got a massive crush on him now. I don't know that I'd call it a crush. Obsession. And don't go anywhere, because we got a unit watching the beauty shop. No, they don't. Bobby's got to come home anyway. Karen always made him do his homework before dinner, or it didn't get done. <laughs> She's like, move along now. Move along. Only room for one single lady in this house. Enjoy. Thank you, Jojo. <laughs> Sorry. That's her last CD before she died. I didn't know. <laughs> I thank God for every day we had together. She was an angel. I know. <laughs> she was special. Oh, poor guy. I think Janice's plan is just to make herself the norm. Mm-hmm. And then he just gets used to her. Mm-hmm. Right? Seems like that's what she's doing. Soto. Christopher ever mentioned a chip soto? Or just a plain chip? No. Here's what's problematic. You don't even know where your boyfriend is half the time, so how do you know if he's in trouble or not? Exactly, so why are you questioning her, dumbass? He went in the witness protection program. Dwight? He went into the program? You know anything about that? No. I think we would have heard. And your Uncle Richie. I suppose he's in the program too. Where are you going? You're going to be working with Agent San Severino here. What? <laughs> She's mad at her, but she still wants her to be her friend. <laughs> I don't feel so good. She's pregnant. You think Adriana's pregnant? Yep. Yeah, it sounded like a wonderful opportunity. What are you going to do, huh? Tony sounds sick. The yeah, ice kind of cold, sounds like. What's he grabbing that for? Is he still going to invest in that? Don't know. Honey, maybe you should try holding her back. It'll keep something for the finish. Of course, is a front runner. She likes running up front. All right. Wire to wire. And tell that not to be shy with the whip. If only his mother had taken that advice. <laughs> <laughs> You ever go horse racing? I've been to a couple, yeah. Yeah. It's been a long time. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, I was probably like 13 last time I I went. Did you wear a funny hat? No. 350 oven for 20 minutes, just so it's hot, and if you have some egg noodles. She still had food from Bobby's. Yeah. (laughs) Well, this one, he drives like a little old lady. Gas, brake, gas, brake. That's how you drive. 
That is not true at all. That's how you drive. No, I don't. I don't use the brake very much. You should. If it makes your wife happy, go with God. Oh, he got the cash to... Oh, uh, that's what he got the cash out for the horse races. Think he's going to win? No. No? Tony! Close time is in one minute. Anthony! Is he going to bet on Ralphie's horse? Doubt it. I bet they're all betting on what, huh? All right. We're in the money. Eight times five grand. I guess so. Forty thousand. I'm giving you your taste. Oh, your money's no good. I insist. You ran your race. You called it. End of story. And I need 150 more this week for AJ's football cleats. Is that the money she wanted for the... Or... No. Okay. Mm. Oh, wait, there's one more. Oh, uh, I'm not going to shine on it. But this is the trust. This is what it's all about. It's in case something happens to you. Well, I'm not going to shine it. You have to. You remember your, your children, your wife? Come, be fair. I gave you two out of three. You gave me? <laughs> Turn this win into a loss. I think I'm getting the flu. I shouldn't go up there. Come on, get dressed. A couple of drinks, it'll kill the germs. <laughs> sorry. Maybe if I just sleep. Great. More heroin. Why don't your kids tell Daddy what we saw on the way home from school today? Daddy? Did you eat yet? I'll get something at home. No, it's all right, isn't it, kid? That was her plan all along. <laughs> he needs you. So you're going to get up tomorrow morning, and you're going to get dressed, and you're going to get in that car, and you're going to do what needs to be done, aren't you? She only likes Bobby if he's part of the family. <laughs> He loses his family ticket. Yeah. She's like, "What well, use is this guy to me?" Uh, if I listened to you last time, no, oh, she's right. Short race like this, let her blow him away. Hmm. Well, foolish that I am, I'm gonna play some bets. They're gonna win again. Yeah. Is the financial advisor in, in on the bets too? Well, he's no. got to be, right? What number is she today? Damn it, I bet to show. <laughs> Would you win five bucks? <laughs> Your horse wisdom is not going unappreciated. Oh, Ralphie's buttering him up. Mm-hmm. Not enough. <laughs> Is he taking half? Did he just take the whole wad? I don't know. <laughs> Look like he just put the whole wad on his hand, right? He didn't take the whole wad. And then he went and got f flowers for Camilla. What a waste of money. Mustard? Or cheese whiz. No. Huh? That'd be so gross. Ham and cheese whiz. Ham and cheese? Sounds pretty good. Cheese whiz. It's different. Wasn't he dipping things in mayonnaise a couple seasons ago? Either way, you shouldn't be dipping it in the jar that's just contaminating the jar. I got kids that depend on me. Like yourself. And to waste my votes on somebody like Dick Hoffman, I might as well put a bullet in my head. Here... Here and here. Is that the favor you're supposed to do for Junior? Yeah. Did he know it was a threat? <laughs> Did he pick up on that? Nachos Grande and a Diet Coke. <laughs> hey, oh, yo, hey, oh. hey. Where's your office? In the back? 
You should play Skinner. <laughs> Freebird. He got those nachos really fast. The fuck you think cheese is? Smoke. A big guy to fall like that. <laughs> that couldn't have felt good. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> he pretended to be Mr. Rogers yeah. by Put putting his sweater, sweater on. on. <laughs> Financial irregularities at Comley Trucking. The prosecution outlined how accounting practices. <laughs> <laughs> if they were great artists, they'll be in a museum. It's pretty good. Is that all he wanted to see was the artist rendition of himself? Sophia, bring a dinner over the house. Janice, she's a pretty good cook. Since when? Everybody stares clear of her food. <laughs> Delicious. With sweet sausage along with the beef. I thought Karen's was good, but sweet sausage? She stole it out of his freezer. Is that why she came over to Junior's house to steal lasagna? And Probably. Swap with swap, the, swap the casserole heat she dinner. had. Dinner. The cops and the feds don't know about it. Probably in time they will. Until then. Oh. <laughs> she just hit her face on a desk. They broke my <laughs> chair. <laughs> they just put it back together and left it there. Yeah. It was fine. And was initially rented by Ira Ibarad. September 16th, 1998. <laughs> that is all he cares. He wants the artist to make a good drawing. I thought the drawing was pretty damn good. You know who was in the car? No. You're barking up the wrong tree. Yeah, she doesn't know anything. We should go out. Vesuvio? Takes too long for them. Kids like Chinese. Uh, MSJ. I collapsed one time at the Hunnam Palace. Complete blackout. <laughs> Really, Janice, you do too much already. The ZD. Mm. I'm not ready to eat that yet. I understand. How long is that going to stay good in the freezer? It's not about how good it is. <laughs> That's his moving on. Yeah. Casserole. Yep. I think we should switch her shoes to those titanium ones that Heshi was telling me about. They don't uh, weigh anything. So they're good for a tender hoof. Sure. Why not? He's like, this f***er squeezing himself into my thing. <laughs> if that horse gets better because of those shoes, he's going to be screwed. Super. Just learn how to drink? Yeah. Boobs all wet now. These guys. No compassion for the f***er animals whatsoever maybe you better go down there tell her to call 555-0157 what a dick hey, Jay! was that tony's number you think i imagine lamella can you please shut the door <laughs> she hears him you bought a racehorse no I didn't buy it. We followed you home? The horse is sick. She wearing a wire? No. Uh oh. <clears throat> I don't know. Is this like a duck situation? That's what I was just thinking. It's kind of like his ducks just came home. <laughs> you find a new animal to companion with? He apparently has a strong connection with animals. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was just thinking, it's like, Ralphie didn't have any compassion for his horse. And mm -hmm. just like, screw this. Gave Tony's number and Tony goes Tony's down like, there and takes Dang care it, of it. Dang it, I gotta take care of this horse. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that means? 
I don't know. I think it's kind of comparing Ralphie to. Yeah, I think it's just uh, showing the humanity that Tony has versus the lack of humanity. Tony's a monster, but not as much as a monster as Ralphie. Right. Yeah. I don't think Tony's a monster. I don't think so. He does horrible things, but usually for, I don't know, justifiable reasons in his mind, you know, in his mind, they're all justifiable reasons to do horrible things okay they're it's all justice related right like he talked about it they're fighting a war and he's just a soldier kind of thing a Mm -hmm. couple seasons ago so he kind of got his justification in that Mm -hmm. speech he gave back then all right all right well so do you think uh tony's gonna take more ownership over this horse now since he's the one that fixed it i would say I guess we'll have to He's going to have to take more see. cuts from Ralphie, yeah? Should we jump in the next episode? For sure. Let's watch some more Sopranos. Let's do it. Organization that these ancient Egyptians had, getting their society to pull together in such a way that they not... Great. Had- yeah, they're just going to spiral together. Chris on his own is at least functional. I don't think them doing it together is going to be good for them. It's true, dude. Oh, it's Paul Dano. Uh, no. His dad owns a strip club, though. Let's go. We get carded. We can just stop by. Uh, watch the strippers coming in and out, right? <laughs> just as good. They're not naked when they come in and out. <laughs> Might be lucky, though. They might come out naked. Mm, yeah. Over the next couple of years, more and more, I'm going to be giving my orders through you. And then finally, only through you, you're going to take this family into the 21st century. Hi. We're already in the 21st century. <laughs> We're already in the 21st century. Okay. It's a front. Like Janko olive oil. Yeah, it's like Janko. It looks really clandestine. So where's the strip club, AJ? Route 4, Lodi or something? This is stupid. Let's go. Ask Jeeves. <laughs> so? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I didn't know anybody else was here. I just used the men's room. <laughs> she looked at his ass. Didn't you? No, not that time. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was having an affair with Dr. Masera. Here she is. Their office Christmas card. Oh, yeah, it is. She's hand on her age. Stop it. <laughs> anyway, I think she's ready for somebody nice. she Italian? <laughs> That's us type. Yeah. Brought it over to Globe Motors to have it looked at. And I was talking to Jerry in the service department. Now, remember that nice sales lady? No. I don't think so. You know what Jerry told me about her? She died. Mr. Empathy over there. <laughs> she hung herself from a chandelier. Oh, I guess Gloria's gone. Out of the picture. Looks like Tony <laughs> felt partially to blame for that. How much? $10,000. Oof. Man, Audi. <laughs> Five. Seven and a half. Oh, Charmaine, I don't think you know L.O.D.'s brother, Jean-Philippe. Nice to meet you. Are they Italian? French. Charmaine, she's French? Not remotely. <laughs> Not remotely. <laughs> right after we pay the $10,000 of what the denture mothers is going to need this year. Wives. Or ex-wives. Dream crushers. he uh, vouching for this rumor himself? You know, in the papers you read, they always leave a note. She did leave a note on her desk. The police took it. Later they told us it was just copy for a classified ad. She was selling her wolf stove. Broken up about Gloria or wondering if she said anything? Uh, uh, maybe a little bit of both. I don't know how much she knew to write in a letter. She brought along a pair of dirty chef weights. My friend here will suck out the stains for you. <laughs> <laughs> Fat joke, real funny. I like to borrow a little money. How little? Fifty thousand. Just for a couple of weeks. But I think I'm gonna pass. 
Sorry. Why not? Because if you don't pay me back, I ain't gonna be able to hurt you. <laughs> so how you doing? What's going on? Oh, nothing. Has it been a while? We haven't seen her in a hmm. It's a terrible tragedy. So you f no. You f no. You let me f sit there. Please sit down. I bet I you charged her enough, didn't you, huh? I bet you didn't cut her a deal because you're all incompetent. Jesus, Tony. She did it after me. I mean, a minute. Well, she tried to do it after the other one, too, so... You're not that special, Tony. Tony, if I was desperate, if Melissa had a tumor instead of an overbite... <laughs> well, here's like a... Uh... Three thousand miles. Tom. Somebody's gonna come by and give me the rest. You great guy, Tom. I think it's a scheme. What? I think he went to Ralphie. No, no. Elodie's brother's playing him all. He's know. gonna st take the money and run. I'm just wondering why Artie went to Ralphie and not Tony. I'm wondering why this vodka's red. Dinner's almost ready. Great, we get to relive this. I didn't like this the first time. Now this is a dream. He's passed out. I get that he's holding the bottle, but... Sounds like choking. What you wanna say? This? this Jesus oh no it's kind of ligature marks cousin Brian's here is Tony thinking that one of his guys whacked her I don't think so town? Be right down. a little hungover from all that vodka you drank huh yeah and if I was like obnoxious about this I'm sorry She's only apologizing because she got her way. <laughs> yes, for Patsy. Tell them I said to take care of you. Thanks, Tony. Adriana just told yeah. them about Patsy in the suits. Is he going to get busted? Yeah. Call, let it ring once, and then hang up. That means I'm out back. He's freaking out about this. Hey, Jay. Hi. Hi, Mom. This is Devin. Anthony, you want to turn that down? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Grab a pillow. Careful of my Yadro, please. Oh. Yeah, don't worry. I don't even want to say how much it costs. Three thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> My sister's dorm. At Columbia? Sure, sure, let's go. I'm just gonna ask her to leave for a little bit <laughs> so you can screw in her bedroom. First Brook Avenue and what? 161st Street. Okay. All right, see you soon. She's interning at some lawyer's office, I bet. We have a boat, though. I'm like a gangster dude's girlfriend. That's why she wants to get in your pants? He's like, I don't care. I'll be whoever you want me to be. <laughs> I'm Meadow, lightness man's sister. I'm Devin. Hi. Can I talk to you? Can I have your dorm key? Yeah, I need to use your room. What for? You know. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Well, why not? I don't even want to think about it. It's my bed. How am I going to go in there after? We'll just stay on the coverlet. No. <laughs> She's just as disappointed as he is. I eat so much of your gnocchi. I'm going to get a belly. Oh, boy. 
That's why he took the loan. Mm -hmm. He was going to call me. I left him a couple of messages. He didn't call me back. Did you hear from him? Does he call your mother? Well, he always works strange hours. By the time we're waking up, they're already at home eating dinner in Toulouse. He got scammed. Billy Joel, maybe you shouldn't count on us. You mean you might not be able to come? Oh, there's been all these problems with the crazy horse and... Oh, what a shame. That's awful. Oh, what am I going to do with those tickets? <laughs> I wonder. Mmm. Mmm. God, I love marrow. Mm. Jesus, Janice. <laughs> I can save it for when you're next to somebody who's not your brother. <laughs> can I have a Nonino pickly? I know it's expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring me one, too. He's like, I don't pay here. It's fine. Do you ever know anybody that uh, ever committed suicide? Mm, funny. I used to live in Seattle, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? And, uh, Artie, put that on my tab. Of course. <laughs> the tab he hasn't paid? Can I talk to you? Yeah. What's well, now on? he's not gonna owe him because he's not gonna be able to pay him anyways. You gotta get your arms around this thing. Now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he wants Tony to do the dirty work. Oh, John Fleet. You're home. I called you five times. Get the day. Oh, he's totally high. Told you Adriana's starting to use Spiral. Yeah. It's already getting into the game. He doesn't have what it takes. You have my fifty thousand dollars. It's business. It's a risk. Listen to me, I don't have it right now. You French fing lion cocksucker! Oh, oh f your mother! Ah! Ouch! Ah! See you again, I'll kill you. Oh. <laughs> ah. That did not work out at all, huh? <laughs> that went the complete opposite way it's supposed to go. You gotta poke the perimeter and tap on the gate until she's out of her mind and begging. Then you won't let That pussy's yours. <laughs> I'm glad to see you didn't get stereotyped as a player. Um, we're here to see Devin Pillsbury. Proceed on up. Park in the auto court. As in Pillsbury Doughboy? Right? <laughs> Holy I feel like they could find a room where nobody would find them. House is probably haunted, though. Get out of here. No, it's true. Iceland is a volcano. Hawaii is a volcano. Iceland's a volcano, too. Well, come on back to you, me and the boobies. It's been a while. We didn't have any of those last episode. Wait. Adi, did you take something? Don't go to sleep. Adi, you hear me? Don't go to sleep. Or did you just take a ton of pills? Yeah. Right, what the f am I doing? Call 911. So this is like a real Picasso. They're all cocks. Well, Picasso was an old man by then. <laughs> I feel so stupid. My mother's stupid Yadro, and we have a housekeeper three days a week? I don't care. I like you. AJ's jealous because he thought he was rich. <laughs> Take the restaurant. <laughs> I don't want the f***ing restaurant. Just free meals for life. Gotta leave it out. $50,000 to take the rest of my life. Well, it's fifty one five, Big one. <laughs> Technically, you already missed the payment. But the six thousand dollar tab—it's really only like forty-five. You saw this whole thing, didn't you? You knew exactly what was going to happen. You can see twenty moves down the road. Please, <laughs> goes through all the permutations at like internet speed and realizes, oh, worst-case scenario, 
No, no. That's my mind. Not his. <laughs> Tony, Artie's trying to think. Tony thought losing 50 grand to wipe his tab would be a... You, you, you got mugged. Outside of your house. It was a street crime. Kids. Save your dignity. They pumped my stomach. They saw the arm and yak. You got f- mugged. They pumped my stomach. They saw the arm and yak. Before I could even realize the deja vu that was going on, Carmela's standing next to me in a blue dress, pouring me a glass of soda. <laughs> the next day, I bought the ring. <laughs> That's a sweet story. She's a romantic one, this one. <laughs> She's gonna clean my teeth for me. <laughs> <laughs> she may, she's a hygienist, not with her tongue. I know that. But he might have meant that too. <laughs> He's there to collect. Do you think it went better than Artie's attempt? I would say. How come your dad doesn't have that Don Coyle any money? I don't know. Because that was a f-ing movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but those Pillsbury has it. Not in the mob. Pillsbury's a business person, I'm assuming. Yeah. You're thinking they're saying they're part of the Pillsbury? I would imagine that they are part of the Pillsbury. Rolling in the dough. I mean, clearly Pillsbury's a businessman, so. Yeah, there's only one way to find out. Hoo-hoo! Your puns are the worst. She's got a poker in the belly. Yeah. If she giggles, then it's, she's definitely part of the family. Huh. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, what's on your mind after these two episodes? I don't really, like, have extremely deep thoughts about The Sopranos, I don't feel like. Really? It's like moments, but not deep reflection necessary for this show. Okay. Well, Adriana and Christopher are spiraling out of control now that she's using drugs with him. Yeah, we didn't see her use drugs this episode, though. But I'm assuming that she's still doing it. I felt like her doing it would give him the green light to... Before, he was only doing it like, when he had like a bad day, right? Right. Something wasn't going his way, shoot up. Now he's just... They shared that one shot of him and the, his buddy in the bathroom just puking. I'm just worried about that's going to... Christopher's going to slip up. And Adriana's going to slip up and then... Isn't that what Some, we thought last season and nothing happened? I mean, it's with her being an informant right now, though, I think it's... Yeah, we'll see. Putting him on thin ice, so... Do you think uh, Tony knew Artie was going to get scammed, but did it anyways? No. No? Maybe. I don't know. You saw it coming. I knew he was going to get scammed. That was the obvious, yeah. wasn't it? Well, he's lucky Ralphie saw it, too, and didn't give him the money, right? Right. Uh, Ralphie would have killed him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or beat him up pretty good. Or as well as the other guy beat him up. Ripped his earring out. It's got to hurt. Yeah, that would not feel good. Yeah. Well, what should people comment on after these two episodes? What's your favorite Pillsbury roll or bakery item? There you and, go. And is she part of the Pillsbury Doughboy family? Is that what they're implying? Was it Devin Pillsbury? Mm-hmm. Yeah. AJ's girlfriend. Right. Let us know in the comments below your favorite Pillsbury treat. Also, like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below for more early access to our videos, fun commentary, or access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Till next time, have a good one. Bye. Darwin was right. Nature really does weed out the Nimrods. No, it doesn't. Not quickly enough. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, you had kids. <laughs> They're yours, too. <laughs>
Not Goodfellas. We recently watched Goodfellas, though, so. Yes. And I'm sure we'll probably, maybe there'll be an inspiration from Goodfellas in this episode of Sopranos. Seems like every episode there Because a lot of, lot of Sopranos was evident in the Goodfellas, right? Yep. But uh, what's going on in Sopranos? Do you remember? It's been a while. Um, I actually don't remember at all. I don't remember at all. Because Goodfellas and it just all blurred back together. I remember not being, like, too enthused with the previous two episodes like they were fine but i think yeah. i don't remember at all i guess we're just gonna have to watch it and it'll come back to us yeah yeah oh uh tony found out about gloria how she yeah hanged herself and then uh Artie took some pills and he got really pissed off at him because Artie tried to help alone and got scammed and yeah there so you go that's basically that's what, what happened that, not much happened other than that in those last two episodes so all right well she jump back in and see what's ha- next for tony in the game let's do it let's do it well, first like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out for Sopranos. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full and commentary, access to polls that helps people watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Twitter, Instagram. Follow us on the social meds. The social med. Let's watch The Sopranos. Here we go. What do you hear? What do you say? He's out. What can I get you, Paulie? Get the four months inside. How about late? <laughs> oh, I don't see him. How are you? <laughs> God, I heard you getting laid up there all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Little Frankie. There's somebody up there. My song. I don't know. Okay. No, he was looking up, like. <laughs> They're playing for Frank Sinatra. He's listening to the song. So, uh, just back from college, huh? Now, let me talk to Paulie for a sec, all right? <laughs> He's like 70. <laughs> was he making a joke? <laughs> I don't know. Enjoy the party. I will. Welcome on back to you, me, and the boobies. I'm enjoying the party. So is Carmel's cousin. (laughs) But isn't there some law about testifying against your husband? Excuse me? Richard and I were married night before last night. We need to get married. No s***. I think that's just a movie thing, though. No. Is it a real thing? Yeah. So you couldn't testify? Against me? Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't have to or something like that. Unless you're the victim? Yeah. Like, if I wanted to, I guess I could, but I'm not required by law to. She's, she's going to be like, Christopher, we got to get married now. Uh-oh. <laughs> we'll go get breakfast. Oh, I spent. I'll go with you. By land, I guess. God ain't making any more of it. That's a Will Rogers cent. It's true. My house is worth uh, nearly triple what I pay. Not for profit housing group. Told me about some scam his minister was involved with up in Harlem. Isn't that the minister that he probably works with? Or maybe not. The thing is, though. Who's watching? The feds. Pictures from his housewarming. Does he have a thing for Carmela too? Sure. Uh, I leave in my sunglasses in some place. I don't know. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, well, let me have a look around. It's raining. <laughs> but I get the pictures from the housewarming finally. Oh, good. Bring him next time. I will. You were there. What do you need to see pictures for? Well, if I find them, I'll give you a call. Okay. i see you soon. It's not good to have a crush on the boss's wife. It's a bad idea. <laughs> Once HUD guarantees the mortgage app, you take it to the bank. They cut a check, and we work it up nice. Your cut will be in the 10% of the profit range. My office will write a letter in strong support of your application. Sounds about right. 
It seems kind of big time grant money. Yeah, it seems kind of uh, risky working directly with federal funds, right? Yeah. This is awkward. Irene and I are seeing each other. What? That is awkward. <laughs> I thought she got married. I've been meaning to tell you. I feel like I need an explanation. What am I? Your father? You're both adults. Enjoy yourself. The heart wants what the heart wants, I guess. Heart also wants what the dick wants. <laughs> <laughs> know what he means. Better be talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Who else would I be talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Dr. Freed, you are now the legal owner. Eat my dust, Donald Trump. What did he just buy? He just bought those houses. Oh, is houses. he the guy that buying yeah. the houses? Okay. It's been a while. Figured I'd check in. So you crawl up my ass? <laughs> As a matter of fact, we're thinking of finally getting married. <laughs> I, I saw in a book where you could get a hotel room for like 10 cents a week then. I room service must have been like one or two cents a meal. <laughs> Your family's history. Newark's history. Oh, who gives a shit about Newark? I'm making a point. <laughs> but that church is still standing. You know why? The bricks? Because Italian masons made that church, damn it. Hey, this is advice I'm imparting to you as your father. In one ear, out the other. Hey, yeah, he's like, I don't give a shit about this history lesson. Unless you want something, mother get the by street. Oh, the language on you. You blow your father with that mouth? <laughs> so that's a crack hole. <laughs> She's AJ. She's really gonna marry him? <clears throat> what is wrong with this girl? Come on. Moldesante's a great catch. <laughs> Maybe Darwin was right. Nature really does weed out the Nimrods. No, it doesn't. Not quickly enough. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, you had kids. <laughs> They're yours too. <laughs> They're not bringing up. They. No, testi- they aren't. You're right. I think that's just a movie trope. I don't know. Is it? Well, if it is, then I've fallen for it because yeah. I thought it was real. Let us know in the comments if that's all you legal experts out there. Yeah. It really would have been better if we met over at Denny's. What are you worried about? It's in the neighborhood. So what's up? I... Send some of my guys down there to start gutting the place. That's why he stopped by. He was hoping she might be there. Mm. We'll take the 7K to your rent? Well, no. <laughs> Come on, Ronnie. University of Michigan. Squeezing him a little bit, huh? Also, I think he just went to the house just so he could see her. Arena, yeah. Let's get married. Whoa. <laughs> Where'd this come from? Aren't you already engaged? <laughs> My uterus got pierced. Both of them? There's only one. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> a friend of mine gave me the name of a specialist in Manhattan. You knew you were damaged goods and you never f-ing told me? Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. True love right there. True love. Oh, from zero to 60 real quick. Damaged goods. What a prick. And this is nothing about aid or anybody else. Stay single as long as you can. Ooh. Come on. What are you saying? I'm average and I think don't jive. Everybody we know is married. Not everybody. He's literally like the only one that isn't. <laughs> When the shoe was on the other foot, your uh, spleen, she stood by you, right? Yeah, you can practically buy a uterus, right? Yeah, they sell them on the black market, right? right? (laughs) They can pay to use someone else's uterus, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'd still be his son, right? Yeah. Wow, that's not a good place to get high and pass out. Behind the wheel. Jesus, Christopher. You know what else is a bad idea? Doing a shit 
ton of heroin if you want to have a kid that is not have medical issues in the future. The feds were just talking to Adriana about him using, and I think they must be following him around. If he's doing it in the car, they're probably just like watching him do it in the car. He probably won't get busted for that. How about you take the 7000 this is costing out of your end, then? Oh, come on. I'm putting it all on the line if I get caught. Oh, you get some kids. Let me tell you something else. Guys like Tony, you don't fool around with these people. One squeeze leads to the next. My son. I don't know what he understands. Not much. (laughs) I'm trying to talk about the immigrants. He's talking about room service. (laughs) It was my judgment that at the time you were in crisis about Gloria's suicide. Good judgment. You cannot have these outbursts and expect to redeem yourself with an FTD bouquet. It's a good start. <laughs> Would it work for you? No, I hate, I, don't, I don't like flowers. Ooh, it was like a a candy bouquet. Yeah, I, okay. that solves the problem. <laughs> I'm sure I'll ask that you extend to me the same courtesy you would a crack addict. He's like, I see your point. <laughs> I've been holding a grudge against you for recommending that uh, Wendy Cobbler, that half-ass adolescent shrink. That stupid bitch almost sent my daughter to Barcelona. Yeah, she was an idiot. <laughs> not happy that you lied to me, but I think I want to try and deal with it. I love you, Adriana. When can we get married? I was thinking maybe our anniversary, we could go to Vegas. When is that? Probably like next week or <laughs> <laughs> at least. No, it's a sacrament, Aid. Why don't we have it here? All your friends could come. Yeah. <sighs> and believe me, you will not save any money in Vegas. My cousin Jackie and her husband Tommy, 60000 at Blackjack. Yeah, Chris would definitely lose a lot of money gambling in Vegas. Remember, just shoot the ceiling and shit. No one eight seven. How's this gonna go? Not well. Get the out of my house, motherfuckers! I gotta say, I'm gonna kill your ass. Uh oh. I told you, young people, that crack is some bad sh- Poor kids. I oh, mean, What? Little kids in there. Yeah. Breaks my heart. What about them shooting through the wall there? Hitting somebody? <laughs> this is like a $15,000 watch, don't I? can't take this. It's just a little thank you, that's all. What a waste. $15,000 <laughs> on a f***ing watch. It's so uh, stupid. I don't even, have a, I don't even wear one. <clears throat> I feel like an... Over spending three hundred dollars on a watch. <laughs> oh, Furio's here. Why don't you want some coffee? The motor uh, is acting funny. I need to keep my foot on the gas pedal. Well, okay. I was looking forward to seeing those pictures, though. Uh oh. What's going on with him? Just letting his guilt kind of run the show. Yeah. He knows he, his feelings are bad and he shouldn't act yeah. on them. Yeah, you know, uh, sinking some anchors for uh, Walmere. Carmel's like, oh, sh-. what did Tony get him into now? He was such a good boy, too. <laughs> there was a week where I would have killed for some good and plenty. <laughs> Should have told me. Now, those are easy to get in that joint, I bet. Just a box of candy. I tell you my problems, you tell me yours. And I have the highest regards for Kamai. Polly is flirting with another family. Is this gonna be a nice house here now? Nope. It's gonna be even worse than it was before. I'm not gonna have any pipes. What do you mean? My wife can't testify against the husband. Oh, right, right. Actually, though. I don't think that's actually true. Oh, damn. Damn. Legally, she actually could. 
Uh oh. She's like, well, what the f am I doing this for then? <laughs> Second thoughts. First, the communication must have been made during the course of the marriage. Anything said before you were married is fair game. Oh my God, it's a simple question. Can they make me testify or not? Believe me, if they want you to testify, they're going to find a way. Told you. You're right. I was, I was way off. I didn't even recognize Meadow. I, I, I was just going to say that, like, oh, that's Meadow. <laughs> That's from me. I can't count how many cheese melts I've made for Silvio in that thing. You should get one of those. We have one of those. Oh. Or we had one of those. Now we have air fryers. Remember that Christmas my dad got one for himself? It's like... The big oven thing? Yeah, the it's double like oven? the size yeah, of our actual toaster oven. oven. <laughs> that doesn't even fit on the counter. <laughs> oh, dad. Didn't even get it out of the box because your mom was like... I, what are we gonna do? Where are we gonna put that? Not put this on my counter. <laughs> <laughs> Look for love in your wife, Tony. Jesus. Who is he sad about? Gloria, Irina, all of his girlfriends. He doesn't have one right now. No. Uh oh, what's he doing there? Oh, he's back at the assemblyman's house. Yeah. You got anything to drink? Is he home? Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Look, I want to just calm down and I'm perfectly calm. Oh, we can talk about this. What the f is he doing? Come on! F Dino! Ow! Girls in New Jersey, what the f oh, <laughs> what a psycho! <laughs> God, now she's gonna be like, Oh, Tony wants to get back with me. <laughs> she has no idea what to do. That just annoys me. Like, don't beat his ass. You told him it was fine. I think the issue was that he started seeing her without, bef like, before talking to him about it. Yeah. So. Like, she's living at his house, right? Whatever. Just don't tell him that you're fine with it if you're going to beat his ass about it later. <sighs> Maybe he was fine with it until he, until he heard the song. Until and he, he thought like, about I it more. I love her. <laughs> All right. Well, Tony made some money off the government. Yeah. That's not good for his. If they find out about it, the case building up. But uh, Christopher, Christopher was wasn't involved he in it, in so on that, he so. probably doesn't know why. But yeah, that would be a big time take him down. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a lot of money. Straight from the taxpayers. Yep. Do you think we're going to see a wedding? Yeah. Maybe Soon. not the next episode, but before the before end the of the season. season. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, should we jump in and see if there's a bachelor party coming up? Cause I'm sure there I'm is. I'm excited for that. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Let's watch more Sopranos. Let's do it. Here, I made it with a lot of milk and sugar. It's more comforting that way. Did he get dumped by his girlfriend? You're coming back. Oh. Well, I got a very important meeting. That's a delicate situation. Golf. I can't find a piece of paper. <laughs> Shoot. All right, you and Seal, you figure out who pays the Longshore Union, how much. I back you up whichever. It's actually like the worst time for him to be trying to use Christopher as his medium because everything Adriana, Adriana sees. Mm -hmm. What doesn't this kid know about money? Huh? <laughs> No, I trust him 1,000%, huh? She's like, that's not good. Something's fishy here. I didn't know what we had until after I buried Jackie. Well, was it enough? Not really. Well, how much is enough anyway? I don't know, that's my point. It doesn't anything ever change? I'm sure cancer treatments didn't help drain the, the piggy enough. bank. Mm -hmm. Valentina, Tony Soprano. She works at an art gallery. 
helping me to enlarge my collection. I dislike him so much. Hon, can you come here a sec? I think I have something in my eye. <laughs> the f <laughs> It was a joke, hon. There's nothing funny about it. It's good luck to step in horse <laughs> Ask any horse person. It's true. Then why aren't you people walking around all day? <laughs> You know, it can be risky trusting him to have a sense of humor. Yeah, you might liable to wind up dead in a ditch. Mm. Gorgeous or what? I dislike him so much. She was flirting with Tony, huh? For sure. <laughs> she kind of looked like Gloria, too. Mm -hmm. Let's go down to the chuck wagon and see what they're rustling up. <laughs> I don't understand. When I was a kid, you two were old ladies. Now I'm old, and you two are still old. <laughs> Good one, Polly. <laughs> Happiness. Except for that wife of his. All you ever been was nice to her. I know that. Yeah, I'm sure. He knows she can't sit with me and Min and our other girls. We're a set group. There's really no room at either table. Come on now, Cook. I know you girls can work it out. A high school drama in an old folks Polly home? could just open up a chair. Yeah. Whoa. What part of the house is this? Tony. The theater. We've never seen this before. I think it's great. I'll turn it I'm off. I'm going food shopping. Maybe I'll get in the bedroom. The time you're to wake up. The movie. Oh, Polly. God. Are you going to like bagpipes? I, for a minute, not for... <laughs> it's, it's even louder now. <laughs> it's too loud for me. And hey, what room is this? I, they just build a new wing on the f house that we didn't know about. So, how are you? What's going on? I found him, Chuck. I found the man who killed Helen. What? Have you seen The Fugitive? I don't recall. It's this movie. I am aware. I I don't think so. Really? I have to put that on the list. I feel like the one I think that The Fugitive always is the one with Tommy Lee Jones. That's Tommy Lee Jones. This is Tommy Lee Jones? Yeah. He plays the U.S. Marshal. Okay, then yeah, I've seen this. I don't remember Harrison Ford, though. 6,500. Oh, you got a deal. He's like, what? All right, she says do it. <laughs> pie or mine? Mine. You what? I don't know the name. It's pie or mine. Yeah, pie or mind? I'd better get your receipt. I'll just be a minute. <laughs> Tony doesn't need a receipt. He's like, I don't want a receipt. If you want on the way, we can stop and eat something. Yeah, we could definitely stop. <laughs> oh, that's what they're eating. Welcome on back to you, me and the boobies. Are these the first natural boobies we've seen in this show? No, I think Irina's were, uh... Oh, yeah, you're right. Irina's might have been natural, too. Ralph is gonna be pissed when he finds out about this. Yeah. Tony just beat up a guy for dating his ex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she likes practical jokes. He's not gonna like this. Mine needed salt. Jesus Christ, you just can't even get this right. <laughs> you did this. Oh, that's very mature. He can take a joke. Uh, it's hard to know with him. How good? Good. Ow. <laughs> I don't like it when people just tongue each other. It's just weird. No, no. It was great while it lasted. <laughs> what do you write on the first one? Love, Tony? Mm -hmm. I'll take another card. Are you sure, dear? Don't do that. <laughs> For the love of God, Nucci. How could you hit on 18? <laughs> that should have been my card. I could have had 21. 
I was hoping for a three. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you ought to play roulette. It's right over there. Cookie's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Polly's gonna have to start whacking old ladies at the no home. No kidding. Mom, whose mom's happy. Cookie's the first to go. Uh-oh. That's not gonna go well. God damn it, Tony! You hate it when I do that, do you? Yeah, I'd punch you right in the face. Just a little cold water. Yeah, well, it's really unpleasant. Do you remember promising me? <laughs> this is one promise I would like you to keep. He's got a sixth grader sense of humor. <laughs> I get warmed back up again. <laughs> Study hall. Get them now. Oh, those pants. You remember those pants? Those Jenkos? <sighs> Whiter than they were long. Don't worry, though. They'll, they'll make a comeback soon oh, enough. For sure. I had the LASIK. And your face cleared up pretty good, too, huh? Cleared up in 10th grade. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to my ma, see what she says. But like I said, whatever you can do. All right. What a weird conversation for grown men to have. Yeah. Was it kind of a threat too? Like, oh yeah. She's not included. Your mom might be. Soon. Was the girlfriend's fingernail? Her fingernail fell off. Yeah. In bed, remember? Was it in his clothes. Yeah, it's in his jacket. So they weren't at the. The house. No, it was in his suit jacket. Yeah. Don't make me go down, I'm poor damn boy. I'm trying to free myself up to do a little global thinking. I'm messing up. I don't need a snake. Do me a favor. Oh, <laughs> Oh, it's like her thing, huh? You got morals all of a sudden? I don't know about morals, but I do got rules. Some day go macho bull <laughs> but don't <laughs> your friend's girlfriend. You yeah, that already did. <laughs> He doesn't f with me. I swear to God, he's some kind of freak or something. Well, sort of, yeah, but not. Oh, have a nice life. We know what Ralph likes. <laughs> I thought that was a Jada's thing. <laughs> Apparently not. We didn't come out. Right. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? I wonder if he holds a gun to her head while while she does it. She about to like catch a flight to Naples to go bang Furio. Uh oh, she's gonna go find all the piggy banks. Does that ever actually work? <laughs> Better take the hinges off. Yeah. He told me to rub his d raw with the cheese grater. Get the f out of here. I wouldn't do it. I told him to f off. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. I think Ralph's a little weird about women. Nah, he beat one to death. Just for, uh, I forget. I want it again. <laughs> Used to be the men would take out their wives on Fridays and their gomas on Saturdays. Good fellas. Yeah. And the second wife busts his balls identical to the first. Sounds like a complicated arrangement. Jeez, I can only handle one woman. You can hardly handle me. <laughs> I am a handful. Is everything about everybody really about their mothers? Thanks, Freud. <laughs> it sounds like you're asking me for personal information I really can't give you. He's asking another woman because he doesn't trust the woman that's right. telling him. Is you th is this possible? You're right. <laughs> the second woman, Joan, her case is really not very unusual. Uh, yeah, go throw water on him. He wants that. You have to have a contingency plan if your husband doesn't come home, and you have to take care of the bus. Never mind. I'm not gonna be playful. I'm just gonna figure out what oh, the fuck's in that uh, thing. Yeah. She's like, mother She's just taking her points. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I try to 
try to be so nice. I bought Cookie a card from the gift shop downstairs. Cookie's getting it. <laughs> get rid of her. Maybe you can make new friends. <laughs> but you gotta get up out of bed. Yeah, Cookie's clearly a c right? Uh, <laughs> I was like, I know what to, I know what I need to do. Your brother, like I'm bad enough bell of it. Now he's the bell he him. Lots of women. On the Veretta Napoli dalla Rio Plan. Mi sono detto tutta città. Non ho mai dato nemmeno un vaso. Meglio così, allora state lontano. Fusso asciutto pazzo. In vita mia ci fatta tanta strunzità, ma non mai mai fottuta mia. L'unico mezzo si avò e accelerò marito. He doesn't love her enough to kill Tony. Here are four examples of the classic meal. Oh, the ponytail. <laughs> oh, it kind of looks like a dick coming out of the back of his head. <laughs> Dipped in a light batter, fried till very, very crisp. We've got those zucchini flowers. You recognize those? Uh oh. I like my drink with extra olives. You should know how your regular customers like their drinks. Get you your olives. What do you have to give a for? She likes it. It's banter. <laughs> I don't give a flying f my brother. What any little slit thinks of me. That's obvious. These enough? <laughs> <laughs> Mom always told me, she said you can tell everything about a man by the way he treats women. <laughs> Pretty true. You treat me good. Oh, okay. When you were a kid, did she ever... Uh... Then I gotta go. The mambo queen awakes. She got mommy issues? Oh, for sure. She doesn't always put her teeth in. The girls don't like that. Also, she's a tattletale. You might want to talk to her about this. Polly's like, damn it. <laughs> damn it, Mom. <laughs> like, she's a freaking snitch. <laughs> Polly sent his buddies after the principal. <laughs> or yeah. Is he the principal? Yeah. <laughs> Kids are like, what's happening? I broke up with Ralph. When? Last night. I just couldn't take it. He brought out this leather mask with this funny. Right, right, right. <laughs> Why not? For one thing, I already took his horse. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even mad about the slap. Like, I could have phrased that differently. <laughs> Took his horse, now I'm taking his whore. At $10,000, we're required by law to notify the IRS of the transaction. I want it in something safe. Something old economy, maybe treasuries. She's investing just enough to not be reported in yeah. a bunch of different investment firms. Up in smoke, hopes and dreams. Oh. A horrible spell fills the arena. Oh, God, Jesus. Jesus. World's Jesus. champion dad. Jane, can we uh, shut this off for a minute? I got something I gotta ask. Those battle bots! Oh, just put it on mute. It's a little awkward. It's about Ralph. <laughs> He's gotta know. You're asking me to betray confidences. She's definitely gonna tell him. That's how she is. $3,000. How'd you come up with that figure? It's a number that I thought you'd say yes to. You thought right. <laughs> you pay me $3,000, I'll answer your question. He bottoms from the top. I don't even know what that means. Means like he'd make me f him with a strap on. What about Plato f it? I'm telling you, he can't get hard that way. <sighs> <sighs> He believes her now. Like, no. okay. Gee, I just want to lie to him about that kind of stuff. Not for $3,000. I just had to get my head into a place where I felt that I could 
He didn't want to stick his dick where another dude's dick had been. But now that he That's knows... his family. Right. Then he knows that his dick was never in you. He's like, okay, this is fine. <laughs> Stacks light. I didn't live for 84 years to have to be nice to somebody I don't like. I guess. The Salvation Army has one in Irvington that's supposed to be perfectly fine. <laughs> it's not the Green Grove, though. Uh -oh. Now he knows she knows. <laughs> yeah, now he knows why his money's gone. <laughs> How does he play this? Something wrong, Tony? I think he's just missing $40,000. You sure, Tony? There's not something you want to talk about? No. Like what? I think this is a situation where he's like, well... She's not gonna say anything to me, so I guess I'll. She's gonna let it the fingernail slide, so I guess I'll let the forty thousand dollars slide. I think he was gonna see if she brought that up. I think they're both yeah. in agreement, like a mutual understanding. Like, well, all right, it I, is what it is. Where was the fingernail in his suit jacket? Like, yeah, did he put it in his pocket it was or in his just suit jacket? It? I think it like did broke she off. slip it in? No, I think it broke off when mm -hmm. she was grabbing him or something. He can have an excuse for that. He goes to the bing a lot. There's girls that got nails. Yeah, maybe. But she knows better than that. Yeah. He has to have a guma. Yeah. The thing is, yeah, it's funny is he really hasn't had one for a while. Mm. Until, I mean, this episode. When he, I, uh, I find it funny that uh, we have Furio back home in Naples mm -hmm. talking about the boss's wife. And the boss's wife is also thinking about him. All the while, Tony's like, oh, I don't want to know if I want to screw one of my men's girlfriends. Mm -hmm. And then just last episode, he beat up a guy for dating his ex. Right. Yeah. Lots of uh, relationship. Yeah. It's a romantic episode. Yes. Lots of relationship issues these last two episodes. Yeah. Yeah. No bachelor party, though. Not so yet. We're still a ways off from the wedding, I guess. There's still some time. <sighs> All right. Well, what's on your mind after that episode? I like these two. Yeah. I think I liked him better than the, the previous, previous two. two. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just in a better mood or something. Okay. That's Definite happens. possibility. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So do you think uh, Polly's mom's going to be uh, treated better by her friends? I would home? say yes. Yeah. yeah. She just needs better friends. I know. I know. You don't want to be friends with people who are buttholes anyways yeah, right she like, lived for 80 years people. 84 years and not have better friends at yeah. the home right she's gotta have a better group of friends than that just make new ones yeah or just chill i mean you're 84 hanging out yeah. by yourself's fine too well when we're that age just it's gonna be weird i i pray that we're at that age together like that. yeah play video games together in the old folks home that's what it's gonna be like when our generation's at home i know do you think that at 80 we'll be able to play video games do you we'll think that something. the fine motor skills will still be there yeah, it might be like the hand-eye coordination fine motor skills i mean mine is twitchy. hardly there now yeah. mine is not pretty much not there at all that's why i'm trying to help you out in that department because you just want me to play video games with yeah. you when we're 80 yeah Gotta have a wing, man. <laughs> yeah. Go left. What? <laughs> Go left. <laughs> what the f is L3? <laughs> what? Yeah. I have to tell you that every time a game, what I L3 means. I still don't know what it is. It's the stick button. They don't mark it. How am I supposed to know? You should look at the user guide for the controller. See what every button's okay, called. Well, you didn't provide me with that when we started. Well, anyways, I've told you that any, every gameplay. Anyways, so, these so. people don't care about that. <laughs> we have a gaming channel if you haven't checked it out. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Um, if you were Tony, would you stup your, your man's yeah. woman? Would you have issues going where Ralphie might have... Maybe not have gone <laughs> if you were Tony. Yeah. Or, also, 
like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out for Sopranos. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, for commentary, or access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Till next time, have a good one. Bye. do with the head and the hands where do they put those they're probably taking another place then i'm really interested in the logistics of this uh-huh. <laughs> taking notes <laughs> kidding kidding you have to deal with me kidding howdy folks welcome back to you me and the tv and it's time for some more mob gangster mafia Organized crime drama. Got any other synonyms? The Sopranos. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. What's going on in The Sopranos these days? Adriana's still wearing a wire. She's not actually wearing a wire. She's just right. being an informant. Same, same. Um, oh, that's a little different. Whatever. Uh <laughs> I don't know. She and Chris just talked about getting married. Yeah. Because she thought if she's married, she can't testify against him. Right. Turns out that's not a thing, I guess. I mean, it is in some sense, but not really. Okay. Right. And then Tony. Got a new girlfriend? Yeah. Got a new Valentina. Gu- Guma. Guma. Is that what they're called? I can't even pronounce it. I'm not even going to try. Guma. Some Italian word. That's probably not even really Italian. I don't know. I don't remember her. Valentina? She was Ralphie's girl. Oh, yeah, and that's right. Tony stole her from him. Ralphie doesn't how's that? It. How's that going to work out when Ralphie finds out? I don't think well. Yeah. I don't think it's going to go well. Hmm. Anything else of importance happened in the last two episodes? Nah. Well, should we jump in and see what's next? Let's jump. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out for Sopranos. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to your videos, full length commentary, or access to polls, helps big way to watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Twitter, Instagram. You know the thing. Follow us. Check it out. Let's watch The Sopranos. Here we go. It's just really quiet. Yeah, I turned it down a bit. Mine? Just the Source 1, which is yours, yeah. I was playing Minecraft earlier and I didn't want to... Oh, gotcha. Deafen everybody. It's amazing... Bit music. With, um, with amazing. <laughs> I ate way too much for dinner. I'm still full. Me too. Cause I had a whole tub of popcorn at the movie and then I came home and ate all that dinner. And dessert. Two desserts. You had two desserts. I'm pregnant with a food baby. It's Father's Day though. I deserve it. What's my excuse? You made me a father. That's right. I deserve it too. Got your sale for now. Oh no. Has he been shot? He got hit in the head by a boom. John, I'm here. <laughs> Will be a break of hit falling down the stairs. I'm kidding. I just fell nine, no, seven steps. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be pissed about that coverage, isn't he? I don't know. That's actually kind of sympathetic. Amber Heard could get hit in the head with a boom and might help her image. Good one. She's something. She. She is magnificent. Did you see that? The second she saw you, she came right over. Bust so hard to win. Mm. You like the ponies? I'll take you. Better introduce her to the goat, buddy, right? Mm-hmm. Make sure Beppy gets my chicken home. Corrado, you didn't get to the early bird special. He was disoriented when he came in. Scored low on his full steam, but that's consistent with concussion. We gotta get him into the city. Columbia Presbyterian head trauma unit, the best. <laughs> so a doctor likes to hear. Take my patient away. 
Hello, Verona Green Grove uh, Retirement Home something. Just connect me. He's calling Polly's mom. <laughs> what is he doing? Hello. This is Marianucci Galtieri. Yes. Hi, this is Detective Mike Hunt, Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania Police Department. <laughs> you have a son, Peter Paul? We found him in a public men's room and he was sucking a Cub Scout stick. What? <laughs> What a prick. After discovery of a small rodent in the rectal passage. Oh my god. A gerbil, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, ma could you hold on for one second? I have the hospital on the other line. <laughs> <laughs> what is his mop going to say to him when he sees Paul she sees Paulie next? I have no idea. He's going to think she's gone nuts, right? <laughs> This is Xanadu compared to that courtroom. I'm milking this thing for all it's worth. <laughs> the bow is meant to find the ring. Dick. Yeah! Oh, That's an actual arrow. <laughs> who's, who's Whose kids, kids are... are... <laughs> what? For Christ's sakes, what? He's Justin. He's got a Betty Bob. Oh, no. Hit by an arrow. All right, no, nobody move him. Don't, don't touch him, okay? I, I gotta get help. Call 911. <sighs> Whose kids are those? His girlfriend? Does he have a new it, girlfriend? Yeah, probably. So they don't. They just don't know yet. Well, thank God you were home. Maybe the neighbor's kids or something? They just. Must be. Uh, please allow me to introduce myself. This is my ex husband. Just oh, it's oh, oh, it's his dad. Oh. Ronnie, I, I, I don't know what happened. No, nothing's ever your fault. This is actual. He didn't know he had actual kids. If the court finds you lack fitness to proceed, the trial will be suspended. Should have had better security on the stairs. <laughs> also, now that he and Tony are on the outs, but Tony's not talking. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> These demented old bats can't do that. Maybe you should just wipe your ass with the paper, then they'll know you're a whack job. <laughs> I'm a source of amusement. I pretend to wipe my ass in front of people. Nah, take it easy. Tony came up with the idea. <laughs> I should never have taken your prosthesis. But it did bring me to the Lord. Ah, you're a boring woman. <laughs> He is Mr. Tony. This is the uncle. Help me up. I gotta go to the bathroom. I do it. Good. Jumping in, doing her job already. To get yourself right with God. For yourself and for your son. It's just making you feel ruffy a little bit. Uh, I, I see what the writers are trying to do. Yeah. Sense, give him a little sympathy. Yeah. Make him seem likable for the first time ever. Where were you out so late last night? Well, nowhere. Floating around with Blondie, huh? Pounded some dough. <laughs> Good one. Seeing that girl you used to date at uh, Valentina. I gotta go to the hospital. I bad luck, huh? I had to get hooked up with that miserable twat. Maybe if I met a girl like Camilla, I, my life could have taken a whole different trajectory. Yeah, I'm sure it was your ex wife that was the twat. Well, that made it easy for him to tell Ralphie about Valentina. Yes. Because he's kind of like crawling back to row a little bit. Mm -hmm. right? Here's a line in the sand when it comes to mothers. You lay a hand on him, and you're going to answer to me. If you can quote the rules, you can f obey him. You hear me? This is a business. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Ralphie's got a little triangle of hate going here. Johnny and Polly on his ass. We pledge allegiance to the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> who was the president of the United States? George Bush. And who was the president before George Bush? John Kennedy. You know where I was when he was shot? Welcome on back to you, me in the booty. 
Can't complain. It's a nice ass. There was a fire at the stables. And they lost some horses. Pyomai? She survived, but we did everything we could, but she had to be destroyed. She was too badly burned. Oh, no. Did Polly do that? No. Oh, no. Jesus. Poor goat. That goat saw something. Lost his friend, though. <laughs> Bye, oh my. She was in a fire. She's dead. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, look, Tana, I, um... Is there an insurance policy on Paiomai? You think Ralphie did it to pay for his son? The horse gets better when we take out 200 grand in insurance on the race coming up. Suddenly there's a fire. What are you saying? You think I had something to do with it? You think, what are you, a f***ing arson investigator now? Come on! They said it was an accident, right? $200,000 insurance. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you did it. You cooked that f***ing horse alive. No, I did not! Don't give me that look. It was a f***ing horse. What are you, a vegetarian? You eat beef and sausage by the fucking Carlo. <laughs> uh oh. Oh boy. Oh, raid? Oh, God. Is he dead? Did he just kill him? Well, that es escalated quickly. Oh, jeez. Fucking oh, Christopher, Jesus. Tony needs your help, Christopher. I need you to call me back for my payphone. Now? You got three minutes. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh. I found him like this. <laughs> sure. You're high. I smoked half a joint before you call him. I'm fine. Look at you. Your nose is running, you f***ing junkie. You promised me you wouldn't do that anymore. I did then. I did, 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 I did, 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 did. That's a funny word, <laughs> did, did, did. <laughs> right? Like, that's got to be what he's thinking. Like, what a weird word. See if he's got some vice aid. Fucking nauseous. Somebody's a fucking killing me. Got made in this bloodstream. Ah! <laughs> Holy s***. I had no idea, did you? Of course I did. <laughs> You're so high on skeg, you wouldn't know if you had your mother's muff on his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That's why they usually do that in the butcher shop. They're watching his TV. He's eating Skippy straight from the jar. It's better than Jif, apparently. Better than Jif, but not... Good straight peanut butter. I'm not a fan. Wonder what that could be for. He's only taking the bag. Right. For the head. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Fuck. It's a bowling ball. The bowling ball. Sell the stage. Hopefully. Is someone gonna walk in? Do you feel like somebody's gonna walk in? I feel like somebody's there. You think somebody's there? I have a feeling. Oh god, okay, I feel. Last thing it was one of his guys just show up, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
What do they do with the head and the hands? Where do they put those? In the bowling ball bag? I know, but where do they get rid of those? They wrapped it up in that? I would imagine they want to keep it away from the body so the body can't be identified. Oh, yeah. They're probably taking it another place then. I'm really interested in the logistics of this. Yeah. <laughs> taking notes. <laughs> Kidding. Kidding. In case you have to deal with me. Kidding. There they are. Oh, they're burying them. Put them in a hole. Rocks. Lovely. Come on. Fight beat him up real good. Keep the scoop up! You gotta put it up to move it! Shh! Right, get out! Get out! Come on! Get out! Get out! You can hotwire it, just not drive it. Grab the head. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's a backhoe in the area. That's helpful. You think he had to learn how to use operate the backhoe for this scene? He must have. Looks pretty proficient at it. He's done this before. <laughs> Here's the problem. As I see it with Ralph getting whacked. People could take it the wrong way. Friends of ours. Like it could happen to them. He's made enough enemies this season with Polly and yeah. Johnny that there's going to be rumors swirling all over the place. Mm -hmm. Tony won't be at the top of that list I mean, at He all. almost got whacked, like, what, four episodes ago by John? Mm-hmm. What's he doing? Hopefully acting crazy. Hi, Mr. Soprano. Can I have some ice cream? What? <laughs> He's nailing it. Act like a little kid going to the neighbor's house to ask, ask for ice cream. Maybe he did that when he was little. It's your fault. You forgot to get the newspaper this morning. Okay. I'm Mike G. Is he acting? Or is that real? Yeah. Because she's supposed to be in on it, right? The, the I nurse. think so. Because they said they got a nurse to play along. Where's the fuck? Is he getting high somewhere? I don't know, but I'm uneasy. Just left him there. Made me feel a little uneasy there. Yeah. Well, all right. Uh, well, there goes the Ralphie problem. Ralphie is whacked. And that escalated real quick. It sure did. And that's an interesting thing the writer said by, like... Making you feel for Ralphie yeah, and then... Just to the, whack him in yeah, that very same... Of, in that very same episode, that's a unique choice. He starts with the prank call to Polly's mom, and you're like, oh my gosh. This guy's such an ass. <laughs> and then he has his son have that accident. And so then you like feel feeling bad for him. for him, and then he kills him. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So do you think he burned the stable Absolutely. down? Absolutely. He admitted to it. No, he didn't. He said it was just a f***ing horse. Well, he, was sa he said he didn't do it, but he, he at the same time. He did though. say. I mean, he alluded to the fact that he did it. I felt like he had confessed to it there. The no, I think he did. Him saying it was just a horse was him confessing. I think, yeah, you weren't, you're not good at reading between lines, apparently. I just felt like at that point, he had no reason not to be, you know. You couldn't see it in it. his eyes that he was lying the whole time. He I thought give, he was, he, but then at the same time. He didn't time, give two shit about the horse. Yeah, okay. All right, let's watch the next episode. Right. No other thoughts about Ralphie? No. Nope. What do you think that's going to do for the, the family? I'm not sure. Because he was a top earner. Top earner, but an who, asshole. So who are you going to get to replace him? Polly? I don't know. Well, Polly's already a captain of his own crew. Then I have no the, idea. The guy underneath him is Vito, the guy that fell in the chair earlier this season. I don't think they're going to make him a captain. I don't know. Let's watch and find out. Right. Let's watch some more Supremes. It's getting high again. He's watching the little rascals, though. This guy's got a problem. Oh, God. He just killed that dog? Yep, gonna kill the dog.
Oh, she got a haircut. Well, I like it. She bobbed it. Where's Furio? Well, you couldn't get a flight out of Rome in time, so I'm driving again today. She got that thinking Furio would be back. Mm-hmm. Makes you look younger. And he's waiting for you. I like it better than her old haircut. Fits her face better. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Cosette! Come on, Mommy! Oh, God. She's gonna be pissed. She's not breathing! Her neck feels broken! Oh, my God! She's dead! Oops. She must have crawled under there for warmth. Are you crazy? <laughs> I didn't kill her. I must have sat on her. Oh, Oopsie. Hopefully that wakes him up. He didn't seem too torn up about it, though. No, he's still high, too. God. Oh, God. Okay. It's a great painting, too. Mm hmm. Get rid of that picture. What? You don't want to. You hear me? Burn it. Because he's so broken up about the horse, or because it reminds him that. The I think fact it reminds him of the whole issue. The whole. Uh -uh. Ralphie situation, probably. Not thrilled to be back. <laughs> Wishes he was back in the motherland. We're off the record. It's Tony. Why would you assume that? Thank you. He's got to look out for his kid now. Mm hmm. Just made some coffee, you sure? Thank you. But I wait in the car. Do you not like the haircut? Yeah. Or is he just <laughs> taking his uncle's advice yeah. and saying, stay away from that? Uh, she's like, there's nothing for me. <laughs> he, he said for the adults, he's bringing wine. Yeah. She was hoping for a little something. <laughs> oh. Mano, you? said for my father all right but you gotta get over it real nice tony real nice because i doubled my dosage i don't want you taking 80 milligrams of prozac <laughs> and you duck back down to 40 before the limp dick thing shuts in <laughs> <laughs> the only other time you've become this emotional in here it's the ducks. Was those ducks. Yeah. That was different. That was a whole different thing. They were ducks. Is it different? <laughs> you haven't grieved in this way for people. It is interesting, isn't it? But I feel like the Reverend Rodney King Jr., you know? Why can't we all just get along? Did he mean Martin Luther Martin, King? I think. I think so. <laughs> Her dog just died too. High definition. I was watching on the waterfront downstairs. Carl Malden's nose hairs look like <laughs> BX cables. <laughs> just wait until you get a 4K TV, Polly. You don't need one. You don't need one. That was Chris doing. Scoring some more H. Um. Car, bitch. Mother you know who I am? Beating him with a xylophone. <laughs> Oops. Oh my god. Did I forget to take that out? Oopsie daisy. Get the f out of here. What? Adrian. Get out of my house. Don't stick me on this, man. Get out. What's the matter with you? Guy's my friend. That's your friend? It's just the guy that does drugs with him. Yeah. You put me on mailing list for junkies now? Huh? And Christopher's really spiraling. Classy piece like this? Oh, it's with the trees, wooden frame, 25 to 30 G's at a minimum. I'll take it home. Right? Be an honor to hang his picture in my house. <laughs> <laughs> it was only six and a half, Polly. 20 or 30. What happened? Your nephew. Christopher did Your this? nephew, too. Little prick. Gonna ring his neck. Where is he? 
He's been using drugs. Heroin. No sh Where have you been, Carmella? You can hire someone to do an intervention, apparently. Girls, come on. We're a family here. We'll tie him in to a chair in the basement <laughs> and clean him up ourselves. <laughs> At least Polly appreciates it. What's Tony going to do if he comes over to Polly's and sees that on the wall, though? Why would he come over to Polly's? I'm sure he goes and visits Polly at his house sometimes. Why am I always having to come here? <laughs> to keep her from doing something she'll regret. You want to come in? Why am I always coming? <laughs> You're the leash, Anthony. Balsamic vinegar, uh, 35 years from my sister's husband's family. Live in Modena. Wow. Did he forget that or just, you know, spring out on the fly there? You said you'd take me to Comp USA so I can get a new magic stick. And I will. Yeah, well, I got stuff to do. I told you. Well, I better get going. Thank you very much for the vinegar. Hey, just like, this is weird. <laughs> you know what's weird? Like a 15-year-old boy wanting a magic stick. That's weird. I don't think that's what you think it is. Comp, Comp USA is computer store. Oh. So a magic stick's like something you put in your computer? Yeah. It needs ice. <laughs> Classy gal. She likes a cold wine. <laughs> My leg. Of course. I don't think of it right away. Yeah, she seems like she's managing all right. Except for when Janice stole it from her. Right. Uh oh. <laughs> What's Polly thinking about now? Reminds me of people's feet. <laughs> Take another drink. <laughs> Maybe the grapes were feet pressed? Probably. I was so upset when he didn't bring me a present back from Italy. They gave me some vinegar, but I don't think it was meant for me. It must have meant something that he felt bad. Carmella, you sound like you're 15 years old. <laughs> He looks at me like I'm beautiful. He thinks I'm interesting when I talk. Just those few minutes when we see each other, I live for those. So it sounds like she's 15. Good afternoon. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dominic, and I'm an alcoholic and an addict. That was Casey. Yeah. Casey Jones. Casey Jones. The specific times where Christopher's drug use impacted on you directly. Tony's like, I can't share those I can't share those times. Got a long struggle out of him, that's for sure. Doctors, rehab, physical therapy. I think I'm gonna have the medallions of view. Great. She's real caring, huh? Mm -hmm. You know, HUD, Garside Street, you, Ralph Zellman. I'm giving you an opportunity to cut a deal, make it right. Last time, feel nice and having you. I cut you in at a friendship, but that's over, John. You got nothing coming to you. Isn't it his business? Yeah, no, like, why do they owe you? Any why would he owe you anything? Like, the other thing they were kind of working together on, right? Plus, this is in, was this in New York that they did it with? I was thinking, like, those paintings you see in the courthouse. Something classy, you know, like uh, a revolutionary war general. Napoleon and his horse. He's rather portly to be Napoleon. Not Napoleon, exactly. Getting some alterations on his photo. Just doesn't want... He doesn't like the Tony's eyes watching him all the time. Right. He just doesn't want it to be Tony's face. I think they confront the Ralph. Things went sour. What did he say, John? It wasn't what he said so much as what he didn't say. Nobody makes a move till we know what happened. You understand? Trying to put it back on New York. Oh, jeez. This could start a family war over Tony killing Ralphie. I know you don't know me, but, uh... Yeah, you're the guy who, uh, broke into Stu Lennon's that time. You stole all those pork loins. <laughs> Last week when I came home to learn that you had killed our dog, that was the final straw. Oh. You killed the dog? It was an accident. What was it, barking? He sat on the wall. He was high. Oh, 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> Tony is appalled. You want to talk about self control? How about you, Sil? Oh, fuck. Guys, guys, whoa, whoa. Christopher. Or you, Paulie. Yeah, remember last winter in the woods with the Russian guy? Christopher, I'm fing warning you. We never know what happened to that Russian guy. I don't think he's dead. Maybe someone will smack some goddamn sense into him. Great, my own mother. F you, you fing whore. <laughs> Put Chris in the hospital. <laughs> Deserved. Off the kitchen counter spraying for ants. Well, I was wearing socks. <laughs> the man has a hairline skull fracture. We'll admit him. Keep him overnight. <laughs> Fractured his skull. That's probably the intervention he needed, though. Down it. <clears throat> Tomorrow morning, gonna go and patch you up to this rehab place in Pennsylvania. Now, if you need anything, anything at all, Patsy's gonna be half a mile away from you in a motel. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Huh? Do you understand? Tony, I'm sorry. This is your last chance. Yeah, That's Patsy's what he's there. If he, he's keeping an eye on him. If he leaves, he's going to get whacked. That better be a wake-up call for him. One more up and he's, he's done with. Is he driving you to drink? I can drive myself. <laughs> <laughs> we to expect only bad to happen. And they are not disappointed. What a tough Grim outlook. <laughs> <laughs> you got too much time to think about yourselves. Sounds like me, all right. She's not wrong. <laughs> you should see yourself now. In the shadows there. With the smoke all around you. You're beautiful. Remind me of that movie star around. What's happening here? Tony's taking a second girlfriend. But why? He likes her outlook on life. It's interesting. Hmm. Cigarettes are okay, right? Cigarettes are fine. Uh, in fact, they're encouraged for patients who smoke. But Chris, no chocolate allowed. No caffeine or substances containing caffeine. Oh, that sucks. He brought a bunch of candy bars. No caffeine, but nicotine's fine. Mm. <laughs> See what I can. I think it's not a good idea. <laughs> what are you doing? I didn't expect you so soon. Tell me I'll talk to him later. She's got bed head. This music's not helping Furio. <laughs> no kidding. Maybe want to listen to something more upbeat. <laughs> or she at a hotel. I don't know. He's, he's gonna burn it. Is she going over to Furio's for dinner? I imagine. There's Sean. Furio makes this great meal and drinks some fine wine from his old country and Tony's microwaving. <laughs> it still looks like him. <laughs> Much better. Now if Tony definitely comes over, he's going to be even more pissed because it's going to be like, you changed the painting. They didn't change the eyes. <laughs> Weird way to end that episode. <laughs> Interesting. Polly's going to have to get rid of that painting eventually. Right? Yeah, probably. All right. Well, that was an eventful two episodes. Mm -hmm. Ralphie got whacked and Christopher's off to rehab. Yeah. Much needed. So they didn't really address who they're going to replace. I mean, they're still trying to figure out what happened. Right, right. Richie's, to Ra to or Ralphie. Ralphie's still just uh, missing. All right. So, who's going to get the promotion? I mean, technically they could promote Christopher, but... Yeah, he died as a drug addict. That right. wouldn't be good. Yeah, since he's in rehab. If he was clean, he might be an option, but it might be one of 
Ralphie's underlings. So like, I don't think I can think of his veto. I don't think they have to replace him right away. I don't know why you're yeah. so set on them needing to replace this captain like yesterday. Somebody's got to be making the money for him. For that is turf. I feel like somebody can just pick up the money yeah. for him for a while. All right. What's on your mind after these two episodes? Hopefully the rehab sticks, because otherwise Christopher's a goner. <laughs> yeah. Do you think he's going to be successful? Yeah. He's kicked drugs before, right? He was on drugs a couple seasons ago uh, and yeah, I feel straightened like it out by himself, but then... I feel like he knows the, funny. the odds here. Yeah. Hit rock bottom there, killing the dog. Yeah. Yeah, that is rock bottom, isn't it? Yeah. Traumatizing for me. Ugh. I've been there with the pet. Accidentally. You were really little, though. Yeah. It wasn't your fault. I know. It's, it's just... It's stayed with me since then. Yeah. So. Can't even sleep with our daughters in the bed because I'm afraid of rolling over and smothering them. So. It's okay. You were really little. It was a very, very... It's just... Little, little kitten. Yeah. It's okay. Scarred me. I know. Thank you, Dr. Melfi. It'll be okay. <laughs> All right. Any other thoughts in these two episodes? Nope. No. Thanks for hanging out. What should people comment on? Were you expecting things to accelerate that quickly? Right? Like, they didn't even, like, play it out over a couple episodes. It was just, like, one episode. We hate him. We like him. We kill him. (laughs) (laughs) Woo! That was quick. That was fast. I I wasn't sure. Are they actually going to kill him in that? I mean, Tony was red-eyed and then... Ralphie started really going at him, defending himself. Yeah. As soon as he grabbed that knife, I was like, okay, well, somebody's dying. The knife and the raid in the eyes. It was like, ooh, it got really serious. Yeah. When you first watched The Sopranos, were you expecting that much escalation, the Ralphie's death scene? Right. Right. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for more Sopranos. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want full length commentary, access to polls, pick we watch next, or early access to our videos. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. He brought his wife a cake. Did he bury a cake? That's unique. I'd bury a cake for you, babe. Thank you. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for some more Italian family business. Sweet Sopranos. What's going on in the Sopranos these days? Pretty eventful. Christopher went to rehab. Yeah, Christopher went to rehab. What happened the episode before that? Oh, yeah. Tony killed, uh, what's his butt? Ralphie. Yeah. Yep. And then they chopped him into pieces. Turns out Ralphie was bald this whole time. Yep, I knew that. You knew that? Uh, yeah, it looked like a horrible piece. Well, I mean, if you remember him from uh, The Matrix, yeah. he had no hair in The Matrix. So. He's had no hair in anything I've ever seen him in. Yeah. Well, uh, what do you think's next for the crew? I don't know how they're going to explain uh, Ralph's disappearance. Yeah. Well, remember uh, at the end, Tony was like, I think New York John Johnny Johnny took yeah. care of him. Cause Could be. I don't know what happened, but I'm, that's my thinking. Yeah. Do you think people are going to believe him? Well, people think that it was him. Yeah. So... I guess we'll see what happens. Could that start a war between New Jersey and New York? Might. Between one of the families? Should we jump in and find out what's next? Let's go to the mattresses. Let's go to the mattresses. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Sopranos. Wrapping it up pretty soon. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos. Full link commentary or access to polls helps people we watch next. Link's down below. Check it out. Twitter and Instagram. You know what to do. And if you don't. Then don't. That's okay. Let's watch the Sopranos. I think it says something when, like, of the television shows we're watching right now, Sopranos is on my my lowest. Yeah. And I really like Sopranos. You really like him, Battlestar and Stranger Things, yeah. huh? Yeah. 
I just love that I am enjoying every television show that we're watching right now. Yeah. Just think if we had 24 on that list and you were loving that too. I just don't see myself loving that show. What now? A dream. Weird, really weird dream. You want to take it for a test drive? Oh no. That was a weird dream. <laughs> that wasn't Valentina, that was Gloria. Right. Right. And it was hot in the car. It was stuffy. Uh, There's no air conditioning. It was an old car. They didn't have air conditioning back then. What about the caterpillar? Oh, and uh, my friend had a caterpillar yeah, on his okay. head. And it turned into a butterfly. That's a moth. Ray. <laughs> the meaning is elicited through verbalization. And the Gehoxagogan is uh, framed up by the Ramistan. <laughs> what? That was gibberish. Gobbly gook, yeah. <laughs> With my wife driving, which if my father were alive, he wouldn't have stood for for two f seconds. I hear anger. No, I'm just saying. That. You like that arrangement. Actually, I think the wife should ride in a little cart behind the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus f***ing Christ. It's a f joke. Does it have to be like a cancer hospital in here? <laughs> Freud says dreams are wishes. Dreams are wishes. I thought you said that dreams uh, represent repressed urges and... It depends. Maybe it's this, maybe it's that, maybe it's a fungal. I mean, literally all forms of medicine are just kind of like, could be this, could be that. Everyone's just making up, uh, is basically what it comes down to. I think you're glossing over the significant accomplishments we've made in here. Oh, my mother would come when she looked at a pot roast. I've been coming here four years now. I've been a good sport. It's been four years? <laughs> yeah, four seasons. You went to time out? Guess so. I think I liked her interpretation of the dream, though. He has these passengers in the car that he needs to Share. Un unload yeah. with Carmela, right? Mm hmm. To my doll face always, Bobby. <laughs> Is that for Janice? Probably. I miss you so much. Oh no, it's oh. from Bobby. He's brought her a cake. He brought his wife a cake. Did he bury a cake? That's unique. I'd bury a cake for you, babe. Thank you. Don't. I'd still have a piece of it. Please for don't, though. Why not? Cemeteries do a. Uh, Oh, usually a really good job of, you know, taking care of the grounds, so to dig a hole is kind of rude. He missed his drops this week. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. Carmine, the little inside that he thinks it was Johnny. Let me see that Outback's profitability is... Excuse me. Cindy. Is it her birthday or something? Hmm. Must be. Cake. Your daughter said she saw it in the back of your car. Took it to Karen's grave. I buried it. Today was our anniversary. Mm. Believe me, Bobby, I know. I lost both my parents. It's very easy for people to give facile advice. Grieving is a process. Sometimes courage isn't a value. God, what a backhanded way to be. A I mean, the way total she was bitch. saying that was totally. She meant the opposite of what she was yeah. saying. Yeah. Vic, the appraiser. Make this guy understand that he's going to be working for us on the whole houses we bought in Jersey. They might be going to the mattresses here. Nikki Gilardi said Mommy's ghost is going to come back and haunt us. There's no such thing as ghosts. There's nothing to be scared of. Go back to bed. Think he's scared of ghosts? Yeah. 
It could be a change. Tony? Suffice to say, no matter what happens now or in the future, Carmine won't forget you. They're talking about taking Tony out. Mm -hmm. I'm ready than yours. Not made. Did you offer him an aspirin? <laughs> <laughs> Still got shaving cream all over his face. Oh, you got shaving cream all over you. Huh? Don't you wash yourself off? I think he's got some. I think that concussion issues. actually gave him something. Or triggered something. Mm hmm He bought her a cake for their anniversary, and he buried it at her grave. What? <laughs> You can go without seeing Devin and your friends for one night. Yeah, well, we're supposed to study. He can lay off the sweet rolls for one night. <laughs> I'm only the appraiser. <laughs> See if he's receptive to a meet or me. Maybe we can work this out. He talks to his old man. You're not Italian if you don't like artichokes. So, what, Mike Piazza eats nothing but artichokes? He probably eats lots of artichokes. Oh, Papa son. <laughs> AJ. You too, Bob. How'd you like if little Oriental kids were making fun of you? <laughs> <laughs> Devin, would you like something to eat? No, thank you. I'll, um, just wait inside. She didn't bring rolls? Poppin' fresh. Where is Anthony? He went upstairs with that girl. You two come with me. Birth control? These kids just lost their mom. Could you give them a little time? You know how much little Bobby likes you. Hey, what am I, daycare? Yeah. Yeah, come on in, kids. AJ's gonna help you find a game. Spirit. No, not Ouija. Oh, God, you f***ing idiot. Their mom just died, you prick. Yeah, this is stupid. That's my clue. Yeah, you're just a scared little baby. I'm not scared. I am. Play something else. Uh, how about we try and contact the dead for real? <sighs> Talking about f***ing poorly here. Well, for now, he's got no reason to know about the trip. Nobody's got a reason to know. Uh-oh. Uh Tony's starting to suspect uh, Polly. Mm -hmm. What's that? How come he's only talking to you? Because I'm the oldest and closest to the afterlife. Shh. W waves are smashing against the boat? Ah! 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 <laughs> we were playing Ouija board, and then AJ did this seance. Dad, I want to call. Bobby, I don't even know what to say. I am so embarrassed. Part of growing up. Don't worry about it. Bobby knows. <laughs> he was there. He's been there. <laughs> Tony used to do the same thing to me yeah, when I was little. Exactly, right? I'm only the appraiser. <laughs> They're still going after this guy. So go back inside, get your praises, and, and start appraising. She's my wife. Well, she's dead, and I'm here. Uh, shut the f up. You shut the f up. Everybody mourns differently. Yeah. But I did not shoot the deputy. I'd still be bringing you cakes. <laughs> I want you to keep it. Huh. I'm gonna keep it, don't worry. Not the one he got for her what's her butt? She turned it back to him. Oh, if you ever need anything. No, it's all right. Thank you for the brush. Denied. I don't think Tony's ever been dumped before. Right? <laughs> she took care of my mother, too. Your former girlfriend's cousin? She's got, like, me. a different naked woman statue in each scene. Melfi. Yeah. First one was like... And this one's like... Oh, shit. What was it like? <laughs> <laughs> you believe that? What I meant was You know that... why she didn't want to see me anymore? She said that I was high maintenance. <laughs> and she said she didn't want to prop me up. And it's from abroad. That walks around on crutches half the time. <laughs> okay, maybe it got me some sh in the beginning. 
some leadership strategies. All we do now is we sit around half the time shooting the breeze about philosophy, the Italians. My... I try to keep the focus on the work. Oh, there's the other one. Okay. Fault. So she just has more than one. I thought she was like repositioning these weird <laughs> statues in her office. Some sort of mind game. Okay, well, uh... Goodbye. She was okay with the kiss on the cheek there? Guess who's no longer a patient of mine. Calling all cars. She torn up about it? I think she's sad about it, yeah. <laughs> what is she doing? What is she doing? I don't get what she's trying to do here. She's trying to pretend to be their dead mom. Uh, rising damp. Court will convene on Monday at 9.30 to continue proceedings. Your Honor, please. Since his injury, I have not had a single conversation with Mr. Soprano in which we've related on any meaningful level. Feel free to take that up on appeal. Uh oh. Is everything all right? Oh my God. <laughs> what happened with the Ouija board? It does get better with time. Did you get anything to eat at least? Can I fix you something? Uh, it's too much trouble. No, it's not. I'm starving, too. She's got the munchies, though. <laughs> Rigatoni. Karen Seedy. No, oh, Seedy, excuse me. He built the chateau. Nicole and I saw it when we went to Paris. It even outshone Versailles. Versailles. <laughs> my next move will not be for the conversation. Also, you should know that my next call will be to Johnny Sack to let him know that we talked. He shouldn't feel blindsided. Time to go to the mattresses. It's getting working that way. What's this dream going to be? This episode's creepy. May this be Arch. That's mom. I don't think so. That was creepy. Yeah. Hmm. All right. What do all these dreams mean? Not sure. I don't even have a clue what that last one could mean. I don't either. Followed Ralphie to this old house to yeah. do a masonry job. He's clearly in like the 1920s or something. Yeah. Some old lady walks down the stairs. Yeah. All right. Well, what's going on? What's on your mind after that episode? Yep. Just wondering what the dream's about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think we're going to go to war? I don't know. I mean, it's like. HUD issues. It's kind of like hedging that way, but I don't think so. Yeah. I think they'll nip it in the bud here. Yeah, I think they'll figure it out. And it looks like Janice is. Uh, Scheme is uh, weaseled her way in, helping Bobby move on a little faster. I guess. Well, he ate the ZD finally. Mm hmm. I think it was still good. Yeah. All right. Let's watch the next episode. Should we watch some more? Yeah. Let's watch some more Sopranos. Let's do it. Got some gobble 
And I woke up this morning and got some gabagool. Let's get us some gabagool. Corrado Soprano is not some harmless old man being persecuted by the government, but a killer who orders up murder like you and I order up coffee. Bobby's getting to work. Mm -hmm. Oh, pastries. Ugh, pastries sound so good right now. Are they Pillsbury? I hope not. They look like scones. scones. My son loves them. You try one. They are just out of the oven. Thank you, no. They do look really good. Come on, all this has been going on. I mean, the horse and all. Now, I know you need a break. Deep down, that's probably the reason you got your hair cut. <laughs> so I make it happen. Top shelf across the board. All of a sudden, her mother psoriasis is like the <laughs> last thing the Furio wants to hear right now. This Tony, total debacle. And Pop with his test, the door is not doing anybody any good. Debacle? Debacle? Uh, he says things weird, doesn't he? I don't think it was his intention to insult anybody. You distracted me. I'm taking a mulligan. Yeah, you do you. You do you. Sopranos bring in a lot of cash. I've been close with Tony for a lot of years. John, maybe that's the sticking post. Tony feels like your friends and not business associates. What am I always saying? I hate this f***ing sh <laughs> Oh, it's the sun. Young Carmine's making a move, it looks like. Put a little valley in between Johnny and his dad. I would love to go with you there. Great, though. It's a date, then. Oh, no. Good. It's a date. Oh, no. <laughs> God. This is not going to end well. Julius LaRosa would sing with that voice of his top dollar they paid. Now that's a nice-looking man. Well, at least they're hanging out with Polly's mom now, huh? guess so. Unwillingly. His program. He was so mean to him, that man. Oh my God! Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I'm bleeding. <laughs> Sounds like our daughter. <laughs> She's like blood. Perfect. Got my drink. Little dancing. You want to go upstairs? That's okay. He's getting pissed. Yeah. A little animosity growing against Tony there. Oh, we have tickets to the producers. Don't worry about it. I'll drive you girls. That should be fun. Whoa, Nelly. I'll be all right. So what do you <laughs> He was asking if the chop is available. I know. <sighs> About 15K between the five and... I know. <laughs> what, what is he saying I know to? Tony's not big enough for that yeah, chopper ride? Something. He hasn't spent enough money? Piss into the wind. Oh, Jesus. They're really close to that propeller. Oh, no. Throw him into that propeller. He almost did it, and then he changed his mind. Yeah. What's Tony thinking right now? I have no idea. He's really drunk. <laughs> I don't know if Carmelo would want to be a Furio if he killed Tony. Even I don't know. It's like a Furio come by. Is he? Uh, was he out with somebody last night? He's not showing up today. 
casa adesso, lasciate un messaggio per favore. I hope he's okay. You think he's okay? Almost feels like something he would run home. It was tested and he felt like he failed and he can no longer work for Tony or something. Nice place. Hey, we open in a few weeks. Carmen got the chef from Fontanella. Killer wine list. Look at this. Right, so what is it? What's the offer? Forty percent of the hot take across the board starting now. Forty. We were at forty a week ago. Well, that is done already. It's done. You keep that for yourself. Let's go. That's insulting. Uh oh. For whom the bell tolls. Thank you. A friend of your husband's came by the office. We got the listing. Which friend? Who? Uh, Furio Gunther? He packed up and left. I mean, I feel like Furio, like, he failed the two tests. He couldn't kill him to be with Carmela, and he couldn't protect him anymore because he almost thought of killing him, right? Furio called a stupid <laughs> zip back to Italy. Think she's gonna make a trip to Italy? She's gonna have a long distance fling. <laughs> now that he says it uh, worked for I Tony think that's anymore. Over. Oh, from the dentist, right? Someday I'm still waiting to hear from dental school. You always leave your door open like that? It's hot. I'll protect her. Don't worry. Hear that? Anybody bothers her, he'll knock their teeth out. Then he can put her back in, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta tell you, Mrs. Soprano, your daughter absolutely keeps us alive with her cooking. Didn't you make macaroni and cheese one night? I didn't want to brag. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carmine's new restaurant? Yep. I don't think it's opening anytime soon. <laughs> oh, boy. Which makes you technically I'm an Infanta di Gracia. But. That wouldn't fit on her driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> I got a C on the paper I did on Billy Bud. A C? Usually got your D's and F's. What's with you today? You okay? He worked so hard on it. Why only a C? I don't know. Did you listen to it? Century? Yeah, I didn't even know they had f back then. AJ. <laughs> no offense. I'm not good. You're not? No. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Evil boss. <laughs> Who's picking on him out of self-loathing caused by homosexual feelings in a military context. Oh, please. <laughs> there is a passage in the book where Melville compares Billy to a nude statue of Adam before the fall. Really? Thought you read it. It's the cliff notes. <laughs> particular. Well, she doesn't know what she's talking about. She's a he mother and he's lectured at Columbia, as a matter of fact. Well, maybe he's gay. You ever thought of that? Good one. <laughs> he said little poorly to trash Carmine's restaurant. He works for me. Uh oh. Uh, a lot more than me, that's for sure. Everybody does. Stop being a little snitch. Only shit done with that Russian prick when I had to go pick up your five grand. You know? Still never seen that Russian guy. I, I don't think we will. Nobody knows what the future holds, my friend. Is that a threat? This is probably the thing I should have just kept my mouth shut. <coughs> I haven't wanted to do this, but it's got to be. <coughs> Call the union. All the union mean. Is that like going to the mattresses? Yeah. Exactly. You don't think Tony said something to him, do you? Where'd she run off to? I give these to my son. Jesus. Take the saltines, too. I like to have the money right in my hands. 
still keep it under the mattress? Never you mind where I keep it. <laughs> These Parker House rolls, they belong to my mom. <laughs> they do not. They were for the table. Wrap these up, will you? Cellophane. <laughs> Probably might pay a visit to her house and look under the mattress. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Can I have your attention, please? Oh. Laborers. It's come to our attention this site is employing a substantial <clears throat> number of non union laborers in violation of our master contract. Come on, what the f? This site is shut down until further notice. Aren't they getting a cut? Of this, so if that's they shut I'm it saying. down. Yeah, that's that's why they're shutting it down. Because they were paying them, and they were non-union workers. We know you do the right thing. <clears throat> Scared him pretty good. <laughs> it's gonna cost us, T. That's why Carmine did it. It's gonna cost him too. Exactly, because like you know, forty percent of zero is zero. Last I checked. Maybe you carry the. One. Mm -hmm. mm. These look delicious. Why is she wearing gloves? <laughs> oh, she got her nails done? Is that I, why? I guess. Would you rather I transfer to Montclair State? Then maybe I can drop out like you did. Too far. Maybe you'll be happier if I didn't come around anymore. Except that won't happen. Because you'll need money in about a week. <laughs> I'll just transfer to Northwestern so I can be near Finn when he goes. Happy birthday! <laughs> I think we'll just send our kids to, like, a state school. What's wrong with community college? Nothing. I'm fine with that, too. What is Polly doing? What's your name again? Polly Gaultieri. Jersey? Johnny talked to you about me, right? Johnny who? Sack? Talk to me about what? Reality hits. That sucks. Is that reality or is he disrespecting him? No, I think I think Johnny Sack didn't say sh about Polly to anybody. To Carmine. You know, crawling back to Syl and Tony and be like Johnny Sack was just using Polly as his Yeah, to get info. Yeah. He's always eating. It is impressive. Like, can you imagine, as an actor, how many sh top takes he took, right? Like, God, he's been asked to eat so much, I'm sure. Just make a conversation. Well, if you don't care what the answer is, then don't bring it up. All right, calm down. Jesus Christ, I don't have enough on my plate. One of my key guys disappeared to Naples, for Christ's sakes. Some of her key guys, too. She's going on vacation. She was going over there a lot. To Furious? She was helping him decorate. And she made me go, too. It was really a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Meeting's over. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Brothers. Oh, ladies' house? Oh, sure he's enough. doing it. <laughs> How much money she got hidden under her bed? Your door was open. I bought you something from my mom. Uh, what are you doing in my house? Take it easy. I didn't what know. are you doing? Calling your mother. You know me since I'm a kid. Help! What are you doing? Help! Uh -oh. like a little bastard! Shut up with that f***ing mop! Jesus. She, he's gonna kill her. <laughs> Did he find the money? Sure did. Oh, got any sack for you. What's that prick want? I don't know. Let me take this. What was this? Right, Who was it really if it wasn't Johnny Sacks? Why wouldn't it have been Johnny Sacks? 
You were in therapy? You knew that, didn't you? Oh, my God. On some level, she may feel unfulfilled. It's probably the beginning of menopause, like you said. All right, you, you go have a good time. Meadows put two and two together already. <laughs> All of this unpleasantness would just... John Carmine's fine. Yes. He's very healthy. Thank God. Call me. He wants to off Carmine. So Johnny Sachs is saying <laughs> off Carmine. What's funny is Carmine gave him the, the go ahead for taking out Johnny earlier mm-hmm. this year, right? She's becoming a wonderful woman, Carm. Smart, beautiful, independent woman that you created. Is that what you dreamed about? She's depressed. <clears throat> yeah, she lost her boy. Mm-hmm. Just when it's starting to really heat up. This close. Just ran away. Well, all right. Um, it seems like the uh, Carmine's family might be in a bit of a pickle. Yeah, of, and they're like infighting over their loyalties to, to Tony. Mm. Right? And I think Tony's starting to realize that because. <laughs> Of what happened earlier when Carmine was like, take care of Johnny Sachs, you have my okay. Mm-hmm. And then now Johnny Sachs is like, well, it wouldn't be a, too bad if something happened to Carmine. Right. So what do you think is going to happen there? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're going to actually take out Carmine or not. It's, yeah. It'll be a lot. I almost feel like that's something like Tony would go to Carmine about saying Johnny Sachs is not loyal to you kind of thing, right? Yeah, it could be. I don't know. Meanwhile, Polly. Off get, and an old lady. Yeah. I saw that happen as soon as she walked in. I was like, oh, uh, he, Paul's about to kill her. Well, yeah. But uh, you think he got a reality check, though, with his running with Carmine, who didn't seem to recognize him? I think so. He had to have known who Polly was. Polly's been around when Carmine's. Maybe. Has Polly been at a meeting with. No, I guess it would just be Syl. Right? Because yeah. Syl's his consigliere. Yeah. I didn't know Meadow had a new boyfriend. Yeah, I don't, we haven't really seen her. Yeah, other I don't really than the, remember that either. Um, the wedding shower th- mm-hmm. for uh, Adriana. So. Right, the wedding shower. Yeah, yeah. She was looking hot <laughs> at a wedding shower for some reason, but uh, I guess she's been seeing this new guy, and it's serious. Mm-hmm. Going on a ski trip. Fun. How do you think Carmel's going to get over Furio? I think she's going to go to him. You think she's going to run away to Furio? Not run away, but I think she's, she's going to go, go on a vacation, vacation to Italy and, and yeah. have an affair. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out for Sopranos. What should people comment on? What Broadway show do you want to go to? Polly took his mom to the producers. Sure, there you go. Also, like, comment, subscribe. I've always wanted to see Wicked. Oh, because of your thing with The Wizard of Oz? Yeah, uh-huh. I've never seen it, but I've always wanted to see it. Okay. Yeah. Just thought I'd answer that question myself. Thanks for hanging out for The Sopranos. Yeah. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below for early access to Aveda's full link commentary, access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. the tongue no thanks what, you're not feeling it there are like very few times where i'm like wanting you to lead with the tongue <laughs> howdy folks welcome on back to you me and the tv and it's time for another finale of the sopranos season four You had to think about that for a second. Well, I wanted to say season six, but I knew that was wrong. (laughs) That would be the final season, because there's six seasons of The Sopranos. That's right. Can't seem to remember that. What's going on? Uh, There's some infighting going on between families between New York and New Jersey. Johnny Sack basically said, let's Carmine. Yeah. Be easier. Tony was very surprised by that Mm -hmm. admission, Mm -hmm. right? And Carmela is depressed that Furio's gone. Yeah. 
I think she's going to run away to him. I don't know. A little vacation to Italy. My instincts say yes, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Well, should we jump in and see how this season wraps up? Let's wrap it up. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Sopranos Season 4 Man. Finale. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full commentary, access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. The link is down there. Check it out. Social media. If you like it, do it. If you don't, let's not. Let's watch the season finale of The Sopranos. Got some gob cool. Oh no. She got the flu. She was asking if she had a fever at the end of the last episode, right? Mm-hmm. I told you you didn't have to come. I know I was gonna say, why'd you go? He looks good. I'll talk to him. Get a sense. Okay. I was just about to ask. I wonder if we'll see an update. Christopher. You know who else looks good? Adriana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't have lupus. Thank God for that, huh? That's what Dr. House always thinks it is. <laughs> Death, major change of any kind? Just the usual. One day runs into the next. <laughs> I got a relative. has got a... Heroin problem. Now the people that need drugs, all they can get is shit like Advil. She doesn't need heroin. <laughs> <laughs> well, stop at bars. You won't have to cook. God damn it. Yeah, I really want lobster. <laughs> I'd love some lobster right now. I bet you could. What? I, said, I bet you could. Could what? Go for some. Oh. <laughs> go for some lobster. Is that what you said? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you okay? You having a stroke? Maybe. We're still going, aren't we? Might be time for a little belt tightening. The bottom line is I'll be losing money every day the Esplanade is shut down. This wallet is tied to the goddamn Esplanade. God damn it! John, why are you yelling at me? You're being a dum dum. Did Tony buy beachfront property on the Jersey Shore? Is that my father's truck? I guess so. What the hell's going on? Tony. That's right. It's even got a name. A beach house right on the... Right on the road. I know the owner, Alan. He lives just next door here. He's an attorney. If you're offering cash, I thought you should at least see the place. There's Al. Hating on his deck. He's gonna pick cash. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you've communicated that you feel that you're unable to come to a unanimous verdict in this case. I know that you've been at it for a while, and it can be frustrating. <laughs> He's the only one. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to go back in there and reason with each other <laughs> and apply the law and come back in here with a verdict. Is it going to stay hung, you think? I don't know. Hey, did somebody go through the order make sure we got everything this time? Just. <laughs> Story of our life. <laughs> <laughs> we pick something up. I always forget something. It's usually one of your sister's things. <laughs> Mother goddamn orange peel beef. Orange peel beef? That sounds horrible anyways. You have to go through the order while they're still here. What good does that do? Yeah, they're still, still gonna go, go back, go yeah. Back again. <laughs> A mean red puppy. What? Me red puppy. Where's her puppy? Oh, puppy. I don't know what she's talking about. That puppy we got. Go help her. <sighs> Alright, let's go find your puppy. Good night, maybe. I love you. down the shore. Tony. Uh, unfucking believable. Hey. hey. Oh, do we have a gym? What? 
I heard Dad say Mother F when I was coming down the stairs. He's fine, too. We're gonna make this policy work. <laughs> Nobody's listening to Carmelo these days. You know, it does seem like a good value, even at that price. <sighs> I know you. If you don't get the place, you'll sulk, and I'll be the wet blanket. I'll sulk. <laughs> if you want me to sign off, we probably wouldn't lose money. But if you don't want to go through with it, believe me, that's fine too. <laughs> that's wife code for get the house, Tony. Go for it. <laughs> but if you did, Virginia Lupo's phone number is on the bureau. Better to act quickly if, you know, more is lost by indecision than by wrong decision. That's all I'm saying. Well, that's an interesting... That's interesting. The only one I haven't exactly done is go around to all the people I f over while I was using and apologize. Maybe you shouldn't do that one. <laughs> one sleeping dog's lie. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> In a couple of cases, I'll send flowers or cash in some cases. <laughs> Another meeting with Johnny Sachs? I do it. What do you do for me? I'd take a sad song and make it better. I'm gonna pay. What the f you talking about? I'm taking all the risk. What the f you talking about last time? What would it take? All claims to my HUD business are irrigated. What I want to tell you is for your ears only. And chills. Gonna do it, huh? Hmm. Johnny Sack's gonna go to war, Tom. No. He's not. It's his idea. I know these black guys from Irvington. Well, that's the right idea. It can never get out. Who we'll whack the old f Are they trustworthy, these guys? Yeah. Make sure. Oh my God, they're going to do it. Wow. It's a big responsibility to put on Christopher. Simply stated, I want the chance to sell to a more qualified buyer. You call Virginia Lupo. She calls the bank. You get your deposit back. Your wife's a grown woman. She'll adjust. <laughs> Buy this property, I'll make your life a misery. I can tort you into the poorhouse. I've got an overseas call. Well, think it over. Basically threaten to be a bad neighbor, too, right? Oh, Virginia. Sure, hi. We did? <laughs> All right. He's got to come up with the cash now. I have to take it out of his bird seed. You'll inherit this. Dad, what a thing to say. White caps. Oh, leading with the tongue. No, thanks. What, you're not feeling it? There are like very few times where I'm like wanting you to lead with the tongue. <laughs> goes mall walking inside King's Plaza, 7 a.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Macy's entrance, Avenue U and Flatbush. You get the down payment? Oh boy. That's why I don't go mall walking. Exactly. I have a wrong number. Well, this is the Soprano residence. Don't you? No. Oh, jeez. Is your mother there? Ma, telephone! Oh, come on, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God, what's going on? It's not gonna go well. I used to f your husband. <sighs> Hello? <sighs> he just patched it up with her. AJ, I've got it! She have to reset. Tonya loves me, you know? If it wasn't for his kids, you would be out on the street. What do you want? Well, I thought you might want to know we have some sadness in common. He's been sleeping with my cousin Svetlana. Just the one time. You remember my cousin. She was also his mama's caregiver with the one leg. Svetlana kissed and tailed, huh? Mm hmm Just the one time. <laughs> she knows that he sleeps around. Like, that's... Their unwritten agreement, essentially, right? Oops. Don't come up here! Get the out of this house! 
It's kind of his house, though. Which girlfriend are you upset about? Now, what did I do? Your mother told you what I said to your father about her psoriasis. I was just trying to be honest with her. <laughs> and we haven't seen each other. What about her cousin? No. The nurse who took care of your mother, who I liked? Who I talked to on the telephone about your mother's alopecia and her bowel movements? <laughs> She's jealous! Why you Let go of me! That's a thing, like... I can't really get physical with a dude because they're a lot stronger than than you. Yeah. <laughs> Calm. Just get out, Tony. Calm down. Get your hands off of me! Don't you touch me ever again! I didn't do it. I found your fingernail, Tony! You saw it that day on your night table. I found it and I put it there. I know you saw it. That... What? That what? It's from a different hooker. It's fine. What does she have that I don't have? Prosthetic. <laughs> Irina! Oh, she's gonna... He's gonna kill her, right? Who told her about us? Not you, please. It was what's your name, right? Eh? The wanna walk in on us. Branka. We had bad argument over FICA and Federal is holding. I take from her paycheck. <laughs> Most expensive piece of ass I ever had. Right. I know what you are thinking too. Take care, Tony. You're a strong guy. You'll be all right. He's got a house to stay in, huh? <laughs> He's staying there now. When Christopher was away, I had that asshole calling me every five minutes to see if I needed anything. <laughs> Does Christopher know? You kidding me? You'd kill him. Not really. I mean... Figure of speech. <laughs> Kinda. I'm supposed to meet my mom. Go ahead. I'd say she's got a little bit of a soft spot for Adriana, huh? Mm. I don't know. It's like, last I checked, this isn't your house yet. <laughs> yeah, I think she's, uh, thinking of separating. Are they really gonna separate? Probably. And find their way back to each other at some point. And I realize that as much as I want this place, now is not the time for me to be buying a house. I can't go back to them. I mean, I guess I could, but I'm not going to. They'd hold my feet to the fire. I don't want to be insensitive with what you've got on your plate. But we have a signed contract. You're buying that house. It's, uh, it, it was very nice to meet you. But I'm not buying your house. And you're not getting your deposit back. I dealt with them on that Neapolitan copyright thing for Enya. I'll probably let him walk. But that's a negotiation which he knows full well. You don't have any partners. Thank you, Rabbi. <laughs> Just talk to Carmine. He's ready to settle. Are you kidding me? Uh-oh. Everything's in motion. My son was a big help in all this. I want you always to remember that. Even after I'm gone. But I'm not going no place. Healthy is a f rhino, this guy. Is the hit still going through? I don't know. Did you get any sleep? A little, I think. Is Meadow gonna set her right by letting her know that she knows about Furio? Who said anything about Furio? I have never been unfaithful to your father. This is not something I want to talk about. I'm sorry. Jesus, how could you eat shit from him for all those years? Oh, good. Yeah, blame her. That's that's good. How dare you? she let him cheat on her all these years? I feel like he got a new ringtone. Things have a momentum of their own. He's saying keep keep it going. 
Okay, then. You'll hear from me. Oh. You're gonna go through with it. We're not on for Tuesday no more, right? Well. <laughs> Christopher's like, all right. It's his house as much as it is hers. More. I paid for it. That's right, T. I'm on your side on this. <laughs> I'm not rescinding the deposit. That's what they're for, to hold parties to agreements. No, I think I'll buy the house. Just be forewarned. You're not getting your deposit back. Is he getting the house or the deposit back? No. It's not getting the deposit back. I'm not leaving here, Carmella. I don't love you anymore. I don't want you. You are not sleeping in my bed, Tony. The thought of it now makes me sick. Jesus Christ almighty, I'm going fucking crazy. She said the DL words. Don't love? Yeah. Mom's gonna let you stay out here? Let? This is my house. Oh, he did turn his... the pool house into the movie theater. Hmm. He's got everything he needs there, right? I hate air mattresses. <laughs> Too bouncy. Noisy, uncomfortable. Bouncy. I find it very anxious to pass the ball, the prick. But nobody could notice was ever considered. I'll offer my guys half of what they'd have got. That should do it. I just want you to make sure. I told you that. Like we said, you're gonna keep this quiet. I got the mouth on the statue. Word. See you around. They got paid to do nothing. They sure did. They're too upset about it. Be haunting my ass for that child. So oh. oh. That's one way to to make sure that. No loose ends. Yeah. That was just Christopher's decision, too. Mm. Well, Tony's told him. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to hell when I die. Nice thing to say to a person heading into an MRI. That cut deep. <laughs> Can I tell you something, Tony? Don't pretend like I got a choice. The last year... I have been dreaming and fantasizing and in love with Furio. He would smile and we'd talk and then you would come down the stairs and then it all comes back. He talked to you all, poor you. He made me feel like I mattered. No, you asked me the other day, but I read his cousin has that you don't have. I could converse with her because she had something to say. I am here. I have things to say. Besides, bring the fucking chairs down and did you sign the living trust? Tony, what about the thousand other fucking pigs you had your dick in over the years? The strippers, the cocktail waitresses. Were you best friends with all of them, too? You fucking hypocrite. That was a hell of a scene. Yeah, sure was. It was intense. <laughs> Both of them knocked that out of the park. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? Did that store 69? <laughs> the number you are calling was blocked and cannot be called back using your last call return service. Does she know who that is then? I'm sure she had an idea anyways. I have no choice but to declare a mistrial. I know that you did the best you could. <laughs> hey. Welcome. Stay in touch. Call me when your grandson is born. I wouldn't want to think of you on that day. Why are you trying to be friends with the other jurors? <laughs> The speaker. Yeah. What is he eating? I had salsa. Salsa. Ew. <laughs> From a spoon. My dinner got cold, so I was on the phone with Devin. We had to do an algebra problem. It's guiltless salsa, though. So. Can eat it however you want, then. Go buy a uh, 
What OCD she likes and some flowers. Tell her you're sorry. She's not gonna do that. Nah, he's gonna pocket that. <laughs> Go to the movies with Devin. Call the Volpies if you want. Have him send over a couple of pies. But that's it. There's a hearty burgundy still in the fridge. You think he dies? Uncle Junior? Yeah. Right now? <laughs> no. Yeah, right this second. <laughs> I don't know. He's smooching on Janice. Oh. I wondered if it was to annoy the neighbor. Dropping the anchor and partying on the boat. Oh, it's Tony's boat, dude. It's to God's. Yeah. What kind of music they gonna play? Really obnoxious music. Dean Martin. The hell? This is great music. I don't care if the sun don't shine. I do my drinking and eating time when I. <laughs> It could be worse music. Exactly. I mean, who doesn't like Dean Martin? Exactly. And I take orders from him again? You're that disgusting f***ing sucker idiot son of his! So now we just go back about our business at the Esplanade like it never happened? Well, yeah. yeah, that would be the healthy choice. Healthy. Yeah. <laughs> John. I still consider you a dear, dear friend. Oh boy. I even hugged it out and keep your friends closer, your enemies closer at this point. We'll get a place, you will go and visit, it'll be better. You'll see. Well, you guys could still get back together, maybe. Right? Yeah. Sure. But we're still close. God, is there nothing to eat in this house? Metal blaming herself. Like maybe if she wasn't an asshole, they'd still be together. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't drink anymore. I I freeze it now and I eat it like a popsicle. <laughs> you gotta let it go, Alan. Just like Give him his money. Loves being in Yes, he's getting his deposit back. I guess it wasn't ready to be done. Yeah. It said, no, keep playing Dean Martin. <laughs> Dean Martin wanted an encore. <laughs> All right. Well, season wow. four. I did not see divorce coming. They're just separated. Separation, excuse me. Yeah. Wow. I figured she knew what life she got herself into. She knew he cheated around, but I guess. The... Because it was a, a woman she knew. And she had conversations with. I think that's. Yep. Right. And the fact that she loved Furio and. Was sad about him yeah. leaving. I think that yeah, just kind of tipped it all over. it together. Yeah. Well then, so rocky shores on the uh, personal life front, with the mm. marriage on the rocks, but now uh, Johnny Sax is a loose cannon. Which he kind of was before. We've seen that from yeah, him I mean, before well, with the I mean, whole Carly Ralphie thing. Gave Tony the okay to take him out mm -hmm. earlier this season when the whole him and Ralphie had that beef. It's like, is Tony gonna? I mean, he said he'd keep their conversations. Yeah, but himself, once but... Johnny Sex has an idea in his mind, he, yeah, he kind of he kind of just keeps going with it, right? Like yeah. we noticed that with the Ralphie situation. So, I guess we'll see what happens with him. It's almost like Tony's got to go to Karma and tell him you don't got. He's not loyal to you anymore. Mm, yeah, I don't see Tony doing that though. Yeah. It's not a snitch. Yeah. 
But Tony's not the only one that knows. Yeah, we'll see who else does then. All right, because Christopher knew. I mean, I think Christopher is the only one that knows that they were going to take out Carmack because he set up the hit. Yeah. I don't think Christopher divulged what they I don't think those Christopher two guys will for, either. Right? I don't. He doesn't. He's not a rat either. So I don't. All right. Well, wow. It was a hell of a season. Sure was. Ralphie. Johnny Sachs. Rehab. Furio. Yeah, Furio. Adriana's still an informant. Mm-hmm. And Uncle June. Mistrial. Mistrial. Doesn't that mean they can... Retry him. Retry him. Like, Pretty like, sure. Like a year or something like that. With the new jury. Yep. Well, what's on your mind after this? All wraps up. Yeah, I'm excited to see where they take it. I'm yeah. excited to see how the relationship unfolds between... Tony and Carmella now that they'll be separated and Do you feel reconcile kind of I mm. kind of feel like they'll find them their way back to each other again mm. they I had a connection I think it's more of Carmella I think the balls and all in Carmella's court, yeah yeah she's right? angry yeah, yeah. for Tony's absolutely just absolutely like, appropriate reasons yeah Tony's just like whatever I gotta deal with this now <laughs> I think that's also part of the problem yeah it's not really fighting very hard for it. But, I mean, I think that last decision of him saying he's moving out is probably for the best to the whole family. Him taking that initiative might be one step towards the right direction. Could be. Where do you think he's going to... He's staying in a hotel, apparently, right? The plaza, you said. Yeah. Do you think he's going to have a, a new house when we see him next season? Maybe um, a, a or place. living in his boat? I don't know. The boats? Well, it won't be <laughs> occupied there for much longer. <laughs> think he's going to get his money back? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Guess we'll see. Yeah. You'll have to come back next week. Season five. Yeah, for start of season five. Yeah. Well, what should people comment on after this season finale? What song would you have played on your boat? To right. win that Could have been fight way worse than Dean Martin. Could have been like Rodney Dangerfield <laughs> stand up, right? <laughs> William Shatner. <laughs> One of his albums. There's worse albums than that, too. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So. Thanks for hanging out for season four. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And come back next week for start of season five. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below for more early access to our videos, full length commentary, or access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.